Oh. Welcome everybody to VFX and Chill. I am the titular Seth. I actually did not say our names in that introduction, so it was just a <laughs> disembodied use of the word titular. Hashi and Michael, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic, Setherson. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well, Michael. Good to good to be seen. Good to see y'all. It's nice to nice to hang out and relax. So there's a bit of a chill in the air as we approach winter in this northern hemisphere. Yes, a VFX and chill. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. Happy, Michael's gone happy now, winter. everyone. I, I fixed it. He's gone. He won't. He can't hurt us anymore. <sighs> Don't worry about it. You're you're free from from punishment. Punishment. Um, oh, I did. I just brought you back. <laughs> what are you doing? So, all right, fine. Yes, a very happy uh, uh, season's greetings. Uh, winter in the northern hemisphere, as Michael mentioned, and uh, yeah, if you're in the southern hemisphere, enjoying uh, you know some uh, an uptick in weather. Uh, all uh, all good to you, uh, Seth. How what are other the, hemispheres how, are there? <laughs> Say again. What other hemispheres I, are there? Let's go through them like, all. There's like an up. One a down one. There's probably a left and a right. Which one's know. the They're, best, though? Well, the, the one that we're in, obviously. Is this is true the, for the everybody. Whichever hemisphere in. they are in is the best. When the you're best in, hemisphere. you listener, viewers at home, viewers at home, your hemisphere is the or, best hemisphere. Or, or, yeah, whether you think you can hemisphere or not, uh, you can. You can. Um, or shemisphere. We or don't. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> Let's start that. I'm gonna Should we start take, the show over? Let's start it over. Welcome to VFX over. and Chill with Hashi and Seth. I'm Seth. That's Hashi, and that's Michael. And that's all you Hello. need to know. Don't let Sorry, Michael say for anything. Asking, Seth. I'm no. doing great. Um, I'm actually very excited, and I'm just going to share that uh, my lovely wife Mandy surprised me by flying my sister and her husband and my little niece out, which is awesome. So I am hanging out with a family. Up which in one of them the is Canada wearing the hat back for the there? first time? Which one of them is? Which one of them is the wearing the hat back there in the background? Oh, oh that's uh, that's my brother-in-law, Nick. Ah, uh, Nick, it's good to see you, Nick. That's all. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, a true delight. It's 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 nice to have a. a it's weird though because you, we can't all be called Hashi because we all have the same surname. So you know, right? It's, it's weird. Oh, that's but true. It's okay. But, that's you know, confusing. It is confusing. You got two more syllables left in there if you want to like go mo. Toe. Oh yeah, one of you could be Mo, one of you could be Toe and drive a truck. One of you could be Mr. Mo. One of you could be Ha. Be if you have good. a female one, they could be they would be she. Be fine. Though, oh, that's true. Yeah, Hashi was actually a a nickname for my grandma and aunt. Actually, like that's what they were called in school. And so I'm uh, I'm taking up the mantle of being called Hashi, which a lot of people don't don't put together with the Daniel Hashi Moto part of it, uh, or they'll realize it several years into knowing me, like, oh, yeah, like the, the thing. But, uh, Seth is having some fun panning and scanning. It's like he's a director, and he's, like, picking his shots. I just wanted to, I wanted to talk as to if, your brother-in-law, as if, Nick. As if Seth would direct films or something. That's right. Seth is an amazing director, and I love him. I'm I, Nick. I, he, he was bragged like about by a famous camera and... A-lister on TV not that long ago. Yes. That was pretty amazing. <laughs> Hashi, you I, You've lost weight. <laughs> I'm just, you know, like I, I, I decided before the holidays I would try to slim this down mm. uh, so I can consume all of the uh, candy all canes. of the wild game that that I, I want. <laughs> wild you're game. You're, you're out in rural, whatever. Is it? Uh, you get like farms deliver eggs to your door. Like you're in cool we land. Do. Though we did actually, we we changed our mind about about uh, about buying the farm, as it were. So uh, we are uh, uh, just uh, yeah enjoying a lovely uh, lovely little suburban life. But um, anyway, speaking of life, uh, <laughs> we got plenty of it in today's day. show. We all celebrate it. Um, yeah, uh, we have been. Uh, this last week has been this like inundation of new uh, trailer releases, and we usually get. Uh, you know, we take a lot of uh, inspiration from the trailers and things that we see around us. And there was an Indiana Jones trailer, a cocaine bear trailer, a Transformers trailer. Uh, I, I don't even remember what. A bunch Guardians of, stuff of the came Galaxy. Out. 
Guardians of the Galaxy. These are huge movies coming out. And uh, all so, yesterday. So, yeah. So we all got, you know, together, got our heads together, talked about trying to just narrow down what we could possibly do, uh, you know, with all of this information coming out. And how many and, decisions were made? Oh, was that the goal? Yeah, we forgot. So here's the deal, guys. We have no idea what we're doing. We have plenty to choose from. Um, we discussed. I mean, you know, if you've I got post- suggestions, I posted a. Well, I don't want to hear from anyone else, but us. We're the most. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, I posted on Twitter a screen you saw in our pre-show little loop that our uh, screenshot from our Slack channel. Where we were discussing what we could do, and Michael was pretty adamant about putting doing cocaine Paddington. Um, which I don't know if I'm comfortable with, but Hashi, you had the idea that we could just replace. I mean, let's let's go to the Cocaine Bear trailer, shall we? Yeah, let's check that out. If you haven't oh, heard of should. this, now this is the new a new Elizabeth Banks joint. Elizabeth Banks, very funny. Yes, and I love that we got Scott Sice right out the bat right here of the, the, the classic I, the, I was, IKEA I was TikToks. All in once I saw that, yeah, that reaction right there, and this one where he right slowly here, closes the door back yeah. is great. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hashi, your idea was taking Michael's idea and putting and and, and making it a, a little a little less uh, traumatizing. Uh, I mean, this is pretty bad. By just the, replacing yeah, this, the trailer is pretty uh, yeah yeah the, uh, aggressive. The idea it should is, be a red band trailer because there's like an arm off later on. There yeah, is. there is. Well, they stopped doing that for the internet. They stopped warning you anymore about that stuff. Um, They're just like you're on the internet. You've seen it all. Yeah, exactly. Which I'm. I, I don't know how I feel as a parent. I never... Oh, here we go. We're consuming drugs, <laughs> which is really great. So here's what I'm thinking. No, wait, no, hang on. For the record, consuming drugs is not really great. You should definitely not do that. You should not oh, do yeah, that. Oh, yeah, sorry. And- Those words were not connected in any way. <laughs> uh, so here's the idea, is, that is to replace this bear with Paddington. But I think your insinuation, Hashi, was to not not do anything else to Paddington, just to basically put Paddington into the scenes and have and keep everyone's reactions the same. Yeah, like have it be, yeah, like people being terrified about Paddington, but Paddington just being, like, I think there's something about the sanctity of Paddington yes. that I don't, you know, like he may not be besmirched on, on this or any other platform. I agree. No, out of all the English, uh, out of all the people coming out of England, Paddington's the one that needs to be the most respected, I think. Absolutely. So uh, we, so there's that idea. There there's is Stephen Fry. Paddington in, um, so Paddington Bear, yeah. uh, instead of Cocaine Bear, and uh, it's not confusing with it doesn't because <laughs> the thing we all remember from the title Cocaine Bear is the word bear. That's the <laughs> one that stands out the most. <laughs> that's why that's the one that's in all blood red. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, the other one was uh, Indiana Jones and in the uh, the 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 dial. Oh of yes, Destiny. I seen this yet. Oh, so, it's such a good trailer. Yeah, it is. Let's, we, let's, let's take a one sec- shot. Let's take a second and watch it real quick. Oh, I can't hear it. Just hum the Indiana Jones theme to yourself. If it exists. That's if the Nazis haven't gotten to it first. Ta da! Indiana Jones! I love that they went all practical in this one. I think that last shot might have been digital, though. No, this is practical. It's practical. What do you think this astonishing machine will be? Using? That's practical. If anyone is going to become a god, it's me! Incredible. And that's, there's so our copyright strike. Time. We'll get that now in the email. Oh, that's that theme, though. And the theme comes on, and I'm just, you know. Yeah, I'm taken back. Evidence is easy. Taken a back. You're surrounded by it. Oh, <laughs> volcano. Such a good effect. Yeah, it is. Now, here's the problem. This was a funny joke, but we're doing it at real people's expense. Uh, oh, this is different. This is Fate of Atlantis. Sorry. But it is oh. coming to theaters same day. So, all right. That, that's impressive. Yes. So, um, that, yeah. Hashi, we, you should probably we, tell we, everybody we where that actually came from. We just let me uh, wait. Oh, I thought let me I, open up my. I thought I kept the window open. <laughs> no, but I the window you did not. leave open was what we, Hashi and I were, were lamenting earlier about these sites where you don't the use that we use to download YouTube videos for the show. We keep like they keep 
becoming porny and we keep finding newer, cleaner versions. And then those after a month or two become porny again. It's like they're, they're, it's like it follows, but on the internet with YouTube downloading, it's just yeah. this sexually charged weirdness that's following us everywhere we go. And normally that's how I would describe me and Hashi's relationships, our friendship in general. It's but, also the name of the show. Yeah. It's also the name of the show. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's yeah, sexually charged weirdness. <laughs> It's coming for you. Now, uh, nope, nope, Michael, you're gone. I'm getting rid of Michael. How do I get rid of him? He's going to say, all right, here we go. So, uh, so we're like, fine, boss. How about VFX and chill then? Yeah. Fine. <laughs> fine. So, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, Indiana, Indiana for real, Jones. Yes. Um, so, oh, so yeah, yeah, if quick. you don't know, the Indiana, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis was uh, a, a Lucasfilm. Uh, game. Uh, wait, what are they? What was the? Was it just Lucasfilm game? Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts game. And uh, somebody <laughs> did make a fan trailer. Specifically, uh, Apsis Motion Pictures made this about ten years ago, and uh, it's it is actually an impressive uh, undertaking for ten years ago. And for sure, absolutely. they're all they're using lines from the CD-ROM game and making them into a trailer. They're mimicking the layout of certain shots from the game and recreating them, which is pretty cool of them. So, uh, yeah. Oh, this look, is... at look at that trap. Hang on, go back. That was a lovely trap code shine shot. Right there? Oh, yeah. No, 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 back. Oh, the, the, well, I mean, that oh yes. There's plenty of it. Now, uh, so, yeah. I think that one thing that is is neat to to point out, and we've probably talked about this on the show before, is that there are certain movies and franchises that get people jazzed about movie making. And yeah, Indiana Jones is is clearly in that category, at least if you are our age. And I assume that all humans are are like like us, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, half of humans are, are, are uh, approximately half of humans are, 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 are female, and we are not. That's fair. But otherwise, same age. Everyone's the same age as us. Everyone's the same age and has the same, you know, uh, oh, hey, this is the worst media possible, cultural landscape. Worst possible uh, timing. I'm sorry, guys. I have a contractor who needs me to uh, step away. So what I'm going to do is, listen, we're in the clip section. So what can I do? I'm going to leave it on your screen, Hashi. You guys talk about something for a second. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. All right. I will say, um, speaking of Indiana Jones... Uh, this actually would tie in nicely. Out jogging pictures has requested that we comp some cinema, cinema 4D pyro stuff in After Effects, possibly a super comp, like possibly a torch, which would be kind of neat to do. Ooh, because Indiana yeah. Jones is nothing if not carrying torches in dark places, and it's very easy to make a torch in Cinema 4D pyro because that literally would just be a sphere pyro tag done. <laughs> just have to that, put it the right side. That does set, sound pretty good, actually. So yeah, if I were doing something like that. Um... We just, I mean, we just need to find a shot of someone carrying something that isn't a torch. Well, one thing that I, I might actually just have right here, I'm going to quickly check uh, 3D stuff. Um, what did I call it? Uh, probably, is it this one? <laughs> I'm Christopher Vrano said, cocaine bear is the worst and best idea I've seen in years. Yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's on the same level as Sharknado, except this one's based on a true story. Whereas Sharknado was not, I hope. <laughs> oh man, uh, nuts! I can't find the. Uh... I did that tutorial a little while ago of those stat uh, living statue people. Oh yeah, and they and they were all uh, uh, torch wielding versions of these characters. But I'll I'll see what I, I'll see what we could do that would be. Uh... Let's do. Let's try a Sketchfab importer. Uh, Indiana Jones. I don't know why I get so nervous typing live. Just, what, uh, what I miss? Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, someone in the chat had requested we comp some Cinema Free Pyro uh, to make a torch I saw in After that. Effects with Super Comp. That's gonna that's, that's gonna take a little bit. Do we want to come back to it or? Uh, well, I mean, it won't take. It won't take that long to make a torch. The part is finding a good. Basically, the difficulty yeah, is a finding good person a good shot to, to, comp light on it, fire? to comp it with. Yeah. See, that's yeah. That that is the silliness. Like, I'm I'm trying to, uh, yeah, to create a whole shot around it. That's that's one of my my problems. Is I I start with the uh, with the info you don't need, 
well, trying to get to the info you do need. Do but, they just uh, want an example? Because if they just want an example of fire that's been comped with super comp, I got something for you right here. Fire. That right there, the fire coming out of our face was you comped with super comp. Man, that's pretty cool. So, All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly uh, create a cylinder in Cinema 4D. I'm going to give it a few more height segments. Uh, let's make it taller like that, maybe. And then we'll press uh, C to make it uh, some just solid geometry for a second. Whoops, I didn't need that rectangle. But I'm going to... Let's, let's sculpt this a little bit. Let's grab all these... Uh, the bottom here, make it a soft selection, and... I'll just scale down this torch at the bottom. There, that's beautiful. And now... Uh, I'll just add a little teeny sphere like this that I'll scale down, pop it up here, and I will make it a child of the cylinder. And on the cylinder, I'm going to add an animation tag, a vibrate tag. Let's have its position move around by like 500 centimeters in every direction. Frequency of maybe one, and we'll have the rotation be moving around by about 30 degrees in every direction and let me just save this as uh what is what is today vfx and chill today our folder is called something which is definitely what we will be covering on the show so something we've got uh this little cylinder the sphere attached and so that's pretty straightforward to set up and if i press play this, this person is frantically carrying the torch around that that person looks too afraid uh, in that in that moment, so I'm going to go to the vibrate tag and change the frequency down to maybe point three. So just a little bit more calm. Oh, did I not? Now, are are you it? planning? To, are you just planning to? What kind of footage are you planning to comp this over in After Effects? Or are you just trying to? Are you just trying to demonstrate oh, the torch? I'm just trying to demonstrate the torch. Oh, gotcha. Is all I'm trying to do. Chris Ranos is saying, purely curious, could Pyro be adapted to be white and fluffy and look like excessive amounts of cocaine? Yes. I don't yeah, really understand yes, how it, it works as a simulator. Is it just for fire or has it been flexibility? Oh my gosh. So it's fire and smoke mainly. Um, but you can color the smoke. It's really cool actually because uh, you can, uh, so if you have smoke flowing, say this direction, you can put a box here and say, I want this box to contribute just color. And then the smoke changes color as it goes through the box. It's so cool. But you can also use it to do other things. Uh, there's a lot of folks right now, being that it's winter time, who are using it to make ice, because it's just making an open VDB, like just making a VDB. So you can mesh the VDB and have this cool growing ice stuff. You can use it to make clouds. You can use it to make puffs of dust, and definitely puffs of cocaine would would be possible, or puffs of angel dust or fairy wings or whatever. <laughs> uh, you could use it to make cold breath visual effects, uh, which uh, people have been ranting about lately. You can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Cold breath is a good idea for it because you could actually make a little collider that's tracked to your face or something with, uh, um, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, moves by Maxon or something like that. Uh, so what I did in the meantime really quickly was just, uh, oh, I'll get rid of it. If you have something set up like this, and I'm actually going to scale the whole system down a little bit because uh, Pyro by default is a little bit bigger it's more like um if you add a standard figure or something like that oh i i guess i've already edited the scene scale maybe i shouldn't have done that um i'm teaching this so well there's a cylinder with a vibrate tag with a sphere attached to it i'm just going to right click on the sphere and say simulation tag pyro and then after that you can just press play and now i've got a perfect torch i mean I mean, it, that's, I look at it. <laughs> and what's wild about it is, I mean, this is like, I, like I can grab it in the, in the cinema 40 interface and like do this. I could be playing my footage in the background on a background layer, scoot this thing around real time in front of it. And then just export that. Yeah, it's like it's ridiculously easy to make realistic fire at this kind of scale. And what's really cool about it is that it uh, it uses sparse uh, simulation. So it, uh, a lot of fire sims, you have to make a box and say the fire simulation is happening inside this box. And if you ha so if you have like a rocket trail, 
that's kind of long and traily. You have to make this giant box, and it just takes so long to calculate. This just says calculate wherever it needs to calculate. You don't need to set up a box. It can go wherever. So it will only calculate where that little thin rocket trail is, or in this case, torch. Uh, someone in the chat whose name I can't pronounce because I can't, don't speak that language uh, asks if we're live. Yes, we are, we are live, so we can respond right to you if you have any exciting questions. Yeah, the really cool thing about Pyro being native is that it works uh, not only uh, that it works with fields, which can drive vertex maps uh, and all kinds of crazy stuff like that, because of course the vertex maps can affect Pyro. So you can use the, all the MoGraph effectors and stuff uh, to drive it, because fields can drive polygon selections, point selections, vertex maps, vertex color maps, and of course MoGraph cloners for all kinds of things. But also the effects of it work with Cinema 4D's simulation. So the soft bodies, cloth, and rope, and the fire all work together, which is something that uh, oh, it, yeah. you just you haven't been able to do in Cinema 4D with the third-party tools like uh, TFD, yeah. for example. So, for example, if I had this little uh, this object right here, and I put it above uh, my torch like that, and I just add a simulation tag collider. I'll go to the beginning again, and now I'll press play and check this out. <laughs> it's so cool. This is something that like I couldn't do before, and I love it. There's a reason the, pa the training team has just been doing fire stuff, is going to be doing fire stuff all this month. Oh, hey, uh, yep. Christopher, Vranos, you said it's over your head. Great. Tune in Monday. The, every Monday in December, the Maxon training team is doing fire. Yeah, it's amazing. And Chris Vranos, back to your, yeah. How the, is something over Chris Vranos' head? That doesn't make sense to me. No, but he, he now completely understands it. Once he, he sees it once, he understands it and uh, will remember it forever. So it, it's dangerous. Don't, don't teach Chris Vranos anymore. But this basically <laughs> is a VDB that you can then output to render with any package you like and to add any volumetric shader to. Uh, this is the default Pyro one, which is all I know how to do or use uh, right now, but uh, it works for me. So I will be doing a lot of stuff where I'm you know, trying to interactively add fire to my 3D scenes and being able to you know, interrupt them and do crazy stuff like that. Look, I just cut the smoke in half with a little disc. It's very it's fun. so much fun. And, and like if you animate something moving through the fire, like it, the, the smoke like whooshes behind it like you would expect it to. Um, you can have like a uh, cloth with a uh, rope with a cloth hanging on it that then gets started moving, gets moving because of the heat coming up from the fire. Like it's so cool to have everything so integrated like this. And again, like I said, you can use vertex maps with it and fields can drive vertex maps. So you can have like uh, the interactivity and the power that it gives you is just so crazy. It really, really is very, very nifty and cool. Let's see. I'm trying to, to remember if I saved this at all. Um, I made a little uh, <laughs> video <laughs> with. Let's see. This video was so good. Like, oh, it was so. And you like, did it in it, like 30 you seconds. It so fast. It, this is kind of ridiculous. But I was trying an experiment with uh, this. Uh, uh, what should I call it? A, a Terminator. And I wanted it to be dancing in a smoky field. And so let me just disable. This Wait, one. while you do that, uh, guys, what your answer was our answer to Jason Murphy's question, which is a good question. To composite the fire, would you render a path for the fire and smoke separately? Is there a way to do that in multipass? Ah, a good, good, good question. You could definitely uh, render passes of them separately. In um, in Redshift, you can do custom AOVs, so you can just pipe anything into a, a, this AOV is arbitrary output variable. You can pipe anything into that and have a separate pass just when, in one render for different for different materials, for example. So you can say, hey, I, I want just the material that is driving the fire to be here. I want just the material driving the smoke to be here. So you could, in one, in one render, have your beauty pass, a fire pass, and a smoke pass. Like You, you can render everything separate if you wanted to. Um, so would you run it separately? Well, most torches don't put off a lot of smoke, so you really wouldn't have to worry about Gosh, it. You can't put that um, on screen while Michael is giving factual information. <laughs> it's just, it's not good for the brain. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is so, uh, <laughs> what are you having, having trouble Sorry, with? Sorry, continue talking about arbitrary output variables, which by the way was my nickname in high school. 
Uh, here comes Arby. Here comes Arby. He has the meats. Um, anyway, uh, lovely dancing, smoky thing, Hashi. Thank you very much. But to answer your question, now is it um, for torch? For torch, you wouldn't need smoke because most torches burn uh, are are burning a kind of fuel that burns cleanly. Uh, so you wouldn't need to worry about smoke that much. Maybe a little bit if you want to get uh, nitpicky. But with a bigger fire, like a house fire, uh, you, you certainly could uh, render, you, use them. Depending on how uh, you, what your shot required, you could do you could use them, render them separately. Yes, to answer the question. Yeah. So one of the one of my little pyro <laughs> tips that you'll get from me is that um, you can throw a collider tag onto anything so it'll collide. So I could throw a collider tag onto this moving mesh and get a genuinely amazing result. But computationally, it will be very expensive for it. And so what I did was actually a bigger cheat where I just went through and I added a bunch of uh, cylinders, uh, oh, which I didn't, didn't even Did align you guys hear that a well, turns out. Um, but uh, yeah, I just added a few cylinders to uh, the arms here and stuck them in the skeleton so they would you know, be in roughly the right place. And I think that I, I thought that I added some more. Oh yeah, I added the one on his head and one on the torso. And they should all be set to be colliders, but I kind of forgot. So I'll turn them back on, and now you can imagine that what's happening is my uh, my smoke simulation is colliding with all of these things that are parented to the body, but they don't have to calculate a lot of complex geometry. They can just stick with a really simple interaction, and it gives it a pretty good effect. It's something I've you should do in any the- simulation, like if you're doing a shoe commercial with, sh- with water splashing on the front of it, for oh, yeah. example. You, you don't want to use that extremely high-poly shoe model that the shoe company gives you for their beauty shots you just make a really really rough cage and then the fluid sim has a lot less detail to worry about Mm -hmm. precisely so there's me turning up turning my voxel size down which is effectively turning the quality up so you can get a better idea of uh the interactivity there very fun uh freak op in the chat why is that robot dancing why is that robot dancing with smoke (laughs) Uh, could, do you have a good what? answer to this question? What, what kind of a question is, it, is that? Why? Like, okay. how, 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 why are you making a Terminator dancing in smoke? So, let's see here. I will. Uh, let me just double check this in another window before I try to share it with uh, here, the. Here, I'll, I'll go on my here. screen while you do that. I'm just watching this on a, on repeat over here. Oh, you're watching. Uh, this is the. Wait, I don't remember this from the trailer we just watched. This no. is from the actual trailer. No, this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the one. Why are you having? Why are you looping the one bad shot out of the trailer? Just because uh, I wanted well. to get ahead of it and say that, uh, guys, and, I guarantee uh, you this. Guys, uh, I guarantee you this isn't final. I guarantee you, yeah, it's not, not final. Final. It's so, not final. Don't comment on trailers. Don't comment on VFX and trailers. And for the most part, we're good. And what's funny is it's not. It's not one of the harder, seemingly harder shots. It's like ever you know the they, the they de-aging probably, stuff probably is just amazing. Said, we need a shot of him on the horse for the trailer. Get it done fast. Also, he's eighty-five. I, it's totally reasonable to believe that they need that they need to put his face onto uh, people for certain stunts and things. Maybe that really is him, and they just overcleaned it up. Who knows? But and stabilized his head uh, mm-hmm. right there in one place. Uh, anyway, we're just getting ahead of it here. That's the kind of thing that Seth yeah. would make us go back and correct for a butt with Raptors misalignment. So, you know what's funny about this? I'm watching it here on loop. This is how it happens, everybody. I, I'm fine with this shot now. Watching it on a loop right here on my computer over and over, I don't see any problems. I have no notes. It's basically, yeah, it's the, the clockwork orange approach to bad VFX. You just watch uh, it over and over. The, the Plato's fun. Cave version. Now I have a problem with it. No, actually, I don't still. I watched it enough to where it doesn't bother me. And that's who also is, kind yeah, of... Who's that, who's that next actor? The next actor? Oh, uh, that's that's uh, the guy from uh, Flash Forward. Or Flash... Uh, nope. What was the show uh, in the 50s? Or the Flash. 90s with, in the 90s with... Uh, the Jetsons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How am I blanking? It was a show with uh, the guy who ended up being in 310. This isn't actually that guy. This would have been... Way better joke if oh it's Ryan it's Ryan uh I oh, forgot his name sorry it's Ryan sorry hey Ryan Frigby Chillweather says people criticizing this shot are naysayers 
Well Justin, done. Justin right. Leduc says at this point they're just horsing around. How do I how do um, I kick these people out of the show? Vidro asks about Pyro. Is it is there an easy way to output it to a flip book uh, for like a texture in a game engine? I'm not very familiar with flip books, but as I understand it, they're a single image that has a bunch of images on it. And yeah, you uh, you would export an image sequence out of Cinema 4D, which is the way I always export. I never export a movie file. Speaking so of you fire, just export your image sequence, then you would just lay it out on your flip book. Speaking yeah. of fire, this and, oh sorry range. Yeah, what? there are a handful of like free uh, flip book makers that let you can feed it. You know any you know. That's a good number shot. of yeah. Speaking of fire, this that shot, shot rules. Is really cool. Such a good shot. This shot rules. I, I so kind of want to try recreating that maybe. Yeah, it's do so it. good. Some wood and I people. Mean, that's probably all practical. Question. I, I think that there's a lot of practical elements in here. I yes. think that they are over cranking that explosion in a it, like a very neat way. I don't think the people are real. I actually no. wouldn't be surprised if the wood is not real. Perhaps. Well. Those people could, I guarantee, I, I, here's what I'd say. Maybe those people right here are on rigs. They're just stunt people being pulled back. Mm-hmm. Uh, there oh, might I, was be, fine, I was fine with them being dummies, even. Nah, they, these stunt no, people are No, those are, are, those are people down. doing a, stu- oh, yeah, a, a, a wire it. pull yeah. jump. That's, that's, I think that's several things composited. That's people being pulled back. And either way, it rules. Like, and it's got, Such a good shot. God, it, it feels like it's on a boat. It's got to be on a boat, right? Or in a tower. It's in a tower. Somewhere cool. By the way, it feels good. We won't have to comment on it too much, but it does feel good this week, particular week, to see this image right here. Just to see a Nazi get punched in the face. Anyway. It's important to always... always show a Nazi <laughs> getting punched in the face. Uh, Nazis are just bad. There's no reason to ever say good things about the Nazis. Nope. We, sh- we punch them in the face. Uh, these shots are awesome. I love these. And then this shot in the oh, Millennium, the Millennium Falcon, Falcon shot. surprising. Um, oh my gosh. Like That popped up. I'm like, did they accidentally drop a star? <laughs> clip in here they have to wrong harrison ford role they they know what they're doing they must know they knew that people would be like me and go back and frame grab that and say wait a tick here this stuff rolls hashi you were talking about how this shot coming up is one of your favorites right here this shot that shot is fantastic in motion it's like it's enough that i can't tell if the stunt might be real and the car that goes between them is the only digital thing or it could, but again, like people are getting very good at this kind of stuff. It could just but, be a full on real stunt. Yeah. Well, not the, not the car coming between them. That is, that's digital, but the, but like watch the way that like the bodies sliding around, like yeah. that. It's that's good. the right it's really amount good, of yeah. movement for people. Yeah. When that shot that came in, car. I was like, oh my goodness, this feels like an Indiana Jones movie. It's so great. And then you have Phoebe Waller bridge our queen right here. The yes. killer reaction shot. And we have, even this stuff's great. Yeah, that, that stuff's fine. Um, I'm dialogue. excited for this movie. It Fred feels Armisen. Indiana Jonesy. Fred Armisen Unlike right here. A recent. <laughs> mm-hmm. my, okay. my favorite SNL character of, of Fred's. <laughs> uh, we love seeing such the whip. Scene. And this, this joke. Look feels, at that. They, they, they just keep joke. on. It's, it's a hat on a hat. Joke it is that is just and, and this, re- this is a every... very very Spielbergy joke here too. Like his reaction, the pause, the, the, the well, it's great. It's it just feels so great. And oh, it's yeah, going to be competing, all firing with their arms up like that, even though he's already ducked. Like it's yeah. just such a good joke. I do love the idea of possibly recutting that, and so the he gets second shot? he pauses, <laughs> someone just one of those guys just goes bam, like just shoots. <laughs> Shoots at the end of their extension, and he falls out of frame. <laughs> you can make him just fly out of the window, like that is true. That's that is primely framed for a. If it was yeah, just like go, go, Mark go, go, Hamill go, 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 and fall out, yeah, amazing. You know what else I like in this trailer? I, I transitioned us pretty, pretty, pretty harshly back into this trailer. I apologize. I just really want to talk about it. It's such uh, a good trailer. It is all this stuff on the train. Big fan. Big fan. That. Look at that shot. Look at that. That one would, it, that, That's solid. That, that is, is a solid that's shot. That's absolutely solid. It's so exciting. And for anyone who hasn't been pay, watching, like, who hasn't been, like, you know, paying attention to the news, they announced that they were going to be doing this de-aged, you know, prologue in the movie. It's very exciting. Like, if you hadn't been paying attention to the news and you watch this, like, there's a, there's a split second where you're like, oh, yeah, it's Indiana Jones. Hang on a second. 
he is young. Like you might not even realize until the next shot that you just saw a young Indiana, like a younger Indiana Jones. And I love when they how they use de aging to turn him into Antonio Banderas. That's incredibly exciting too. That is really cool. That is who that is, right? I'm not just making that up. I did not think it was until you said it. Oh and crap! I thought it was. Eyes. Oh man, maybe it's not. That shot That's is great. a little. They they will fix it. Yeah. The the it it's too hot on his face, just a little bit. But it could yeah. just be like the yeah, the effect of the way they're transitioning and stuff. Yeah, it might just be the transition yeah. to red. There is too much. Oh, it's back to being so, weird to me. It's that uh, his, it's, it's weird. that his head doesn't change rotation at all, and it it doesn't. Oh, look, it's it, that. Look that, at that. That's it's that frame right there. And that, Let's fix like, it. and sometimes that comes from a situation where the stunt person's head is actually probably whipping back a little bit at that point, and yeah. so, but trying to keep the head straight on instead of turning sideways because nothing will betray the lighting faster than the head turning, but the lighting not turning with it. And I'm, so I'm imagining that they, I mean, someone said, okay, for the trailer, but. And I understand why, so, you know what uh, it is? It looks, it looks fine here. And then if we fine, skip these fine. frames, it looks fine mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. It's that transition. You're right. From yeah. it's like you had two, two tracks, like you had two nulls, it, like mm. in the crudest way possible. It's like you had a 2d track with two nulls and there was, and you're having to interpolate between the two in this mm. little section here to get from one good track to the next good track. I kind of want to Bob the builder this. Should we like, you could. It, yeah. The other thing that's missing is the, the point it's the point where his, sh his chin casts a shadow on his, um, on his jacket yeah. is off because I would yeah. bet that the stunt performer is looking not, you know, dead at camera or, you know, dead past camera. He, he's probably facing forward and keeping track of what the horse is doing. And so there's no real shadow on that probably real suit. All right. I got to dive into this. Do you want to dive oh, back into what it. you were doing while I, I'm not going to fix, I'm not going to fix, I'm not going to claim to be able to fix this. I just want to mess with it. Uh, I can't, I can't fix this. I can't. And I'm not claiming to, and in no way am I, we're definitely better not thumbnail this. We fixed the shot from Indiana Jones like corridor would. No. Uh, <laughs> by, we love corridor, by the way, that was not a diss at them. They just, they know how to, they know how to, even Mark, Mark Hamill took him to task for saying that. Do you, <laughs> you remember that? Like very, very, very respectfully was like, what you guys do is very impressive. Well, a, a word of, you know. Oh, really? Someone who's worked in this industry for a long time. Perhaps think about how you want to frame this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Oh, no, it's a, it's, it was a very thoughtful reaction to it of just saying, you know, like the technology is there. You guys are all very talented. And if, uh, but you know, and if you want to work in this work, town work again, otherwise. okay, yeah. If you want, if you want to, you know, want people to hire you because you can do something impressive, maybe don't put down other people. That's not really how. Uh, okay, this I'm going to make the thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and make the thumbnail ahead of time right now. <laughs> and what? It's oh my gosh, this is a world record uh, thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail is going to happen before the show's even done. And it's going to say, "We didn't." <laughs> it's it's going to say. Here's here's what it's gonna say. Here we go. Uh, we didn't fix this shot from. Ooh, I like I like this. Indiana Jones, because VFX are really, 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 nice. really hard. That's the thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. Just gonna Fantastic. put a drop, put a drop shadow or an outline or something on there, and we'll yeah, absolutely. Let's go back to bold. Anyway, uh, Hashi, what are you gonna do right now? Control. So, well, hang on. Control. Control. Space bar. Save it. Send it to me. I'll. I'll make it the thumbnail. It's, 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 <laughs> right it's, now. <laughs> okay. Seriously, I'll. I'll make this. I'll update Look at it that. Right now. A live update. Like, drop it in the. See, drop it in the. In the chat. <laughs> do I, I just? Do I do anything? Or... That thumbnail. Because I was I was remembering our this very good thumbnail that uh, oh let me see oh yeah <laughs> do do no. I even dress this up by the way like do I do I put him in foreground anyway in Roto or do I just do we just oh yeah yeah, yeah no no you he's got a you got Roto head part out or yeah. something 
Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll clean this up a little bit. Hashi, you do something for a little bit while I Sounds work good. on this thumbnail. All right. So one of the things that I thought could be fun to do, and I don't really know if it'll work, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, like between now and Indiana Jones coming out, if you haven't seen the amazing flea bag, uh, it's not called. It's, <laughs> not not called <laughs> amazing, it's not called the amazing flea bag. Uh, the, show, the show is simply called flea bag. But it's but amazing. It is amazing, and if you haven't seen it, you really should. And I haven't uh, seen it. It's it's a it's a yeah. It's season very two especially funny and very um, season two is a masterpiece. Just a straight up masterclass in in writing and acting and everything. It's so good. It, it deserves all the awards that it got, and the the fifth Indiana Jones exists likely because of the energy that. Yes, uh, Phoebe can bring to stuff, but I was thinking that there was I didn't get enough moments in that in new Indy Indy Five trailer of Phoebe being her more Fleabag character, which is uh, you know like without spoiling it for people who have not seen the show, uh, you know a a woman who's trying to make sense of her life and shares that with you, the audience, by breaking the fourth wall throughout the show. Um, which is uh, which is quite lovely, and so I was trying to find uh, bits from that trailer, like Indiana Jones in the lecture hall, and seeing if uh, one if of the they lesser would, interesting could... Indiana Jones installments. <laughs> so this is the, so I'm trying to. I thought that it could be fun to make a some kind of a cut of Phoebe as a, or Fleabag character, who I don't remember what and what the name was. Uh, oh, in the show, uh, uh, Phoebe Fleabag, Phoebe Fleabag <laughs> of the Fleabag family, <laughs> and so uh, first name Flea, last name Bag. I want to uh, modify this section, and unfortunately, my audio isn't sharing. But there's a moment where the guy says, "Like, hey, who is this?" And in the trailer, this is a pretty good one. It's they both talk over each other. Oh yeah. Uh, India is like she's my goddaughter, and, he, and she's like we're barely not barely related at yeah. all. And so there's a great clip from Fleabag where she where it goes like this: "Who is this man? I don't know who this guy is." <laughs> to camera, and then we'll turn back into the shot and say we're hardly related. <laughs> and there's also this: uh, there's a turning and saying we can't always. I don't know. What does he say? Those Can't days always get what we want. Walk, what he sadly says. walks away. Yeah. And I thought that I might be able to uh, to cut that with a with one of uh, the classic uh, stare into camera afterward kind of shots or something. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit of like flea bagification of uh, mo- some moments from the indie trailer. But and f- anyway, f- Frigby, that that font is that Seth is using is the official VFX and Chill logo font. Uh, Recoletta is the name of it, and one of our favorites. Recoletta. It's, it's so soft and retro and lovely. And if you want to hear me rambling on about fonts, I believe if it hasn't come out yet, uh, there's an episode of the Writers Room Game Show coming out. Either it came out a week ago or two weeks ago, or it's coming out next week, where Ryan, Polly, and I finally do uh, what we've always threatened to do, which is talk about fonts for an hour and call it talk and type. Uh, anyway, that's not this episode, this show, this show is for, this show is not for such juvenile things. I had a lovely fun playing with an old timey font the other day. We're doing a charity event here at the manor. And uh, so I was making a logo for this event and it had tons of fun with all kinds of ligatures and whatnot. There's old timey Christmassy, Christmassy theme. Is it something you, you will right? share anywhere? It's going to be... I mean, it's already... The, the logo's well, I mean, already like, up on the Caledonia Manor website. I mean, it's, it's an in-person event. People are going to come. Uh, we've got uh, some very... Oh, here. Uh, hang on. I, I, I've got to at least tell you, you're going to appreciate some of these cocktail names. I'm making a... I, I'm, I'm setting up a whole Ooh, list of cocktails. Cocktail I've names. got. Oh, yeah. They're all very wintry themed. I've got some uh, eggnog that's been aging for the past couple months in preparation for this. It's going to be great. Oh, I remember. I feel like that might have come up on the show when. Uh, oh, I mentioned it. With, uh... There's there's a lot of jars of eggnog in the fridge, but my he, favorite Alton Christian Brown band has this lovely recipe for eggnog, homemade eggnog, alcoholic eggnog, and it is just you like 
you age it for months and it just gets better and better every every month. It's great. So um, I've got seven different uh, Christmas themed cocktails. Uh, all a wine for Christmas, which is just a mulled wine. So it's not that uh, impressive cocktail mixology wise, but it's amazing taste. If you've never had a proper mulled wine, it's amazing. I'm dreaming of a white Russian. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, right, it's a white Russian, but um, using a gingerbread spice syrup in it. Um, ginger all the way, which is a, uh, a whiskey and ginger ale thing. Uh, or possibly um, there's a local distillery that does really cool apple pie moonshine I might use in there instead. Uh, we wish you a berry Christmas, which is just a cranberry and pomegranate, which is also a berry juice mixed with vodka uh, and a couple of little things. Uh, nogging around the Christmas tree is what I'm calling the eggnog. Um, nice. Rosemary, did you know, is a smoked rosemary <laughs> old-fashioned. And my favorite one is a clarified um, milk punch um, with rum as the main uh, li- liquor in it. And it, I'm calling it pa rum pa pa punch. Oh, man. Very, very can, proud of that I name. can approve of this. Yeah. How, uh, how you... excited were you when, when you found out that you were being tasked with making a, a drink list? Or a, you know, uh, I, I, I was kind of, a, I was like, I mean, I like making a really, like, I don't drink a lot. So when I, when I do drink, I like it to be good. Um, so I, I enjoy making like, you know, infusing syrups and, you know, vodkas and whatever. But, uh, I, I didn't get, I wasn't that excited until I thought of Pabra Pum Punch. And then I was like, I'm in, this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> uh, Michael, I've shared with you in the Slack. This was my menu that I made for our, uh, Chris, our family oh, Christmas gathering. Someone's, someone's at the door. Be right oh, there. Okay. This it's the day of people arriving at doors. Uh, you it know. is. Uh, don't we don't just so it's clear. I'm not going to share this link in the chat, but because it includes, I made this little menu via the app Craft, and I could send a link to my family while at, uh, last Christmas, and they could while we're all together that day, and they could if they wanted to order a drink. Oh, Michael's back, so I'll say it all again. Here we go. Michael, I was just telling Hashi, I. Uh, I made this menu for my family's uh, Christmas gathering last year. Uh, uh, it's not to be shared publicly because I made it to where people, they could actually click on a drink and it would automatically text me the order and I would then immediately make it for them. Uh, but if you click the link, you can see many of the drinks that I prepared last year. My I feel favorite. like that's something that you would have completed and then Arlie would say, but did you clean the living room yet? And I would say, honey, Honey. Do you want a drink? Uh, but my favorite of this of this mix uh, last year was the Lake Como Christmas, which I never made before, which is vodka Campari control control. I never said that out loud. Quantro, like, quantro. Uh, oops, I'm taking. Oops, orange juice, cranberry juice, and champagne. It was delicious, and we drank buckets of it. Oh, you're muted. Excellent. Michael. Which I, am that I, sounds am, really am good. Am I muted? No, Michael right. was. Oh, Michael was muted. I was just saying that sounds really good. That's a really yeah, clever should. little thing. But like just one more time from legal, like do not drink buckets of alcohol or oh, consume gosh. packages of cocaine. Yeah. Or neither one of those that's things. Not Especially even if you're a bear. Work. You know what? I'll, you know, ask your parents. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> ask your parents before consuming buckets of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes horrible. And Oh, if uh, Frigby, yes, a milky cocktail. A uh, really cool thing about a clarified punch is that you use the milk and s- acid of some kind, in this case citrus, um, curdles the milk and strains uh, impurities and stuff out of the cocktail. So it gives it gives a cocktail this really like smooth, creamy almost mouthfeel, but without the milk in it, like. Because what happens is you mix all the stuff, you get the milk, and then you pour the stuff into the milk, and it curdles the milk, which sounds gross. But then you strain all the curds out, and you're left with this amazing, amazing, uh, delicious mouthfeel, flavorful thing. It's, it's like your it's wisdom great. on the show, always, always clarified, you know? Ah. So let's um, – I, so I mean, this, flea, this flea bag thing is, is a dud. It's not working out. I like the other oh. two clips. I was, was going to try a thing. Though I should make it, I should make a TikTok filter that is uh, that is just Phoebe just doing that. That's <laughs> like, and and you can put it in front of whatever awkward thing that you're filming. That's not a bad to idea sig- to signify, like, yep, this is. Uh, Hashi, you've made a TikTok filter on the show before. I don't see why we true. couldn't 
Why, Which, why by we couldn't the way, do another one now? Is, it did get approved by the TikTok council. Hey, so. well, could we make one that was Harrison Ford's face and we just put it just, onto just track it onto you? Yeah. When you're anytime you're riding a horse, or could we make an old? Could we make like an old, uh, not like M Night Shyamalan's old, but an old filter that well, technically, it is M Night Shyamalan's old. Basically, that we could uh, run the trailer through or run old Indiana Jones footage through to make him old. Mm. Um, oh, old. See, now you're talking. Yeah, oh, Oldify, no, old old the old Indiana Jones is, is, is... Yeah, so the young is now the old. This is fantastic. So we've talked about a lot of things on the show. We've talked we're, about the potential one hour into the show and up-aging. What do you, oh, I guess the word is just aging, right? You don't have to say up-aging. Un-de-aging. No, it's up-aging. <laughs> Und- up-aging. <laughs> Und-de-aging. Do, are we really an hour into the show and just now uh, <laughs> presenting all of our options for what we'll hey, do on today's I show? I showed them how to make a torch. and you did a torch. And, and I made a thing. thumbnail. You did make the thumbnail. Look, we're practically done with the show, everyone. Well, no, I'm still working on the thumbnail. Are you adding a raptor to it? Oh, no. this, is my, this is my elf uh, raptor oh, the animation. Elf raptor. That one was good. Uh, Anytime you show that elf sitting and just listening to someone talking, uh, it kills me. I will. I well, die. Oh yeah. There, but any, anytime anyone is just like having an earnest conversation with a raptor, <laughs> it's just like it was from the very very beginning, the Mission Impossible trailer, where she's just talking at him and he's oh, just man. like listening. Like it's, when he's it's, listening to that, and when he's so listening funny. to Alec Baldwin it's, at the beginning it is too. It's yeah, lovely. I love that I had. I have this file on my computer, and instead I like navigated and searched for it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that, like that, these moments are so great. That when he gets down and listens, it's my favorite thing I've ever seen. Can you see through his mouth in that shot, Hash? Yes, and I noticed it once I had output it, and then was like, ah, I, I'm just I'm releasing. No Only reason. Michael will. No notice. reason to fix it. No reason. Yeah, right here you can see through Raptor's mouth. And one of the weird things that I had to do on that one was uh, I content aware filled all the like all of Will Ferrell's face out of here, mm-hmm. which included like he's got like big prominent ears in the elf costume and everything like that. And so, or I mean, like the way oh. his hair is done, it's like, like his ears are very stick outy, and so. I think I had to do something like, uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, I remember. I did one frame where I clone stamped out the, I clone stamped the hair to be closer to one frame of the render raptor. And then the rest was blank like this. I had cut out the skin from it. And so then I ran content aware fill with only that one raptor frame visible. So the result was actually a kind of like it's a it's a cheap Vranos lockdown version of the rap the edges of the raptor head being stuck in place, which was nice. And so then I just comped the uh, other raptor over it, but my Z depth plane for the cutoff point for the mouth is to uh, yeah, you can just see right to the right through the neck. The neck. But whatever. Whatever. It's a it's for it's Silly, silly meme thingy. Um, oh, yeah. I felt like at some point I was summarizing the things that we could possibly uh, cover that we had talked about. Maybe. And uh, one was... Uh, Hang on. I just uh, We just dropped into the chat how to use oh. content aware fill to warp things. Because you did an Indiana Jones-themed <laughs> face-melting template. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That w- tricks content aware fill into warping things for you, like you just mentioned there on that elf trailer. Exactly. You can, so yeah, hack things a, to do things that they're not supposed to do. Lovely template. Uh, look at the template of Doom. But Hashi also talks through how you can build up your, how, how you can trick content where fill yourself uh, to make it to do the things you want it to do. Yeah, that was a good tutorial. Y'all slept on that one. I felt, I was, I felt <laughs> insulted. I didn't sleep on it. I'm in it. You're in it. Seth did not know what he was doing. I, said, I was like, make a, a, a scary face, like do this. And, and he did that and I was recording it. Seth, you are making the didn't, or like extra caps or a different color, right? To really make oh, it stand out? Yeah, I should. Part of me is like, you just want the deadpan. Uh, oh, I see sure. what you're saying. Right. Mm-hmm. Wait, it'd what is bo- It'd be good both ways. Wait, switch back to, to what you're doing there, Seth. Here's, yeah, here's I, where I'm see the right progress. Uh, progress right now, it looks like this. 
Is that okay? <laughs> it's perfect. All right, I'm going to output this, Michael. Any notes? Uh, yeah, if we're, if we're happy with the deadpan take on it, I'm ready to, I'm ready to grab it. Should I make didn't? I just feel like... I, like, I, like, I just like that. Okay. Because you... Like, people will see that shot, and then they'll, they'll read the info and go, medium. okay, how, I'll how check medium. that out. Oh, do we need to have the VFX and Chill logo on it? Absolutely. Nah. That's why we got in the show Brandon folder. Show Brandon folder. Show what, you don't have a folder. Stream Deck button that imports that Shh. file and pastes it? <laughs> but I got our sticker right here, which I love to use. Sticker the sticker is so nice. I, my, my, my default After Effects project file has our two... Um, uh, the 16 by 9 and the uh, 235 uh, oh, little, yeah. like, watermark saved watermark. in it because I need them all the time. Where do I put it back? Up here behind him? Oh, you, you or, or on the horse. horse? Yeah. On the horse? <laughs> on the horse's breast, just right there. Like the like, like like the on the bear's chest. I put the logo on the bear's chest for the promo <laughs> graphic <laughs> today, <laughs> which someone took. That's clearly a picture of a taxidermied bear growling that someone took a picture of and put on Adobe stock. Here's the only reason I, I, I'm hesitant to do this is because it looks phallic to me now on Harrison Ford. Yeah, just put uh, it behind the put, yeah, put it behind put it the horse. We had it. It was it was fine behind the horse's head. Behind the horse's head. That works for you guys. I, I hate it. Hang on. I'm a I'm a huge fan about tucking things behind stuff. Like it just adds a level of like. Merry I Christmas, cared. everybody! Yeah, yeah, it's Todd Vazeria's favorite trick as well. I feel like is it? Oh, I knew Todd was a good guy. Now I know why. I feel like this. We made this thumbnail for Todd. We did. If Todd doesn't Todd tweet Vizieri, about this thumbnail, famously, yeah, I'm walking away did from his account. For an Indiana Jones movie, uh, loves the effect where, like you know, a quote about the movie is is rotoed into a movie trailer or something like that. Or all the five star reviews, or fill the screen, and Thor or whoever is walking in front of it. Seth, you copied that for a super comp, didn't you? <laughs> copied what for the, super? The, 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 yeah, tech, for the, the Fourth of July. Didn't you have like a bunch of like helicopters in front of quotes? The, okay, that was for trail? the VFX. Uh, it was for the 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 uh, uh, lens distortion matcher promo. Oh, that's right. That's and we yeah. intentionally we put a quote from Todd Vizieri, a fake one in there that said, I love when trailers put text like this into the thing uh, with, his, with his name. Just for him, without permission. <laughs> <laughs> and then we told him about it. Okay, this, uh, by putting the logo above it, it looks like a very special message from VFX and Chill, like our press release, our official statement. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Do we hate it? I like to win behind the horse. All right. Go behind the horse. You yeah, I like that whole thing. Because you, you, you need the text to be as big as possible for a thumbnail. How's this? It's good. There we go. I like it. And I press my Stream Deck, this little button that sends it out as a JPEG, and I'm going to save it. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's even faster than Control Spacebar save. Wow, you, you saved a... For those who don't know, uh, Video Copilot's uh, handy dandy little shortcut button for FX console you know also what? does not just doesn't just pull up uh, your effects. He's also got a little button to quickly save out a. Uh, it's cool. Not that one. But it. Not but that the, one. Not that one. Not that one. Because look, not every time one. I do this, the colorize like the color is vastly different than. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Draw space bar and then hit the middle one. That. Yeah. Oh dang. Well, I like mine better. Here we go. Well, you know, you got a stream deck button. Button. It's even faster. Did you just say the F word on our on our show? I said stream deck. You got the, the stream F deck, deck over there. He said fuzzy duck. Scream, stream fuzzy duck. Scream, stream. That sounds like a command to a duck. All right, here we go. Scream fuzzy duck. <laughs> uh, yippee ki fuzzy ducker. We have the thumbnail is going to be shared now uh, in our mutual channels. Here we go, Michael. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, boom. There we go. Downloading now. Excellent. I, I kind of love this. This, this episode, I've made a thumbnail. That was my we... <laughs> Well done. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, it takes us that long to make the thumbnail. Imagine how long it takes <laughs> to produce this show. By the way, that is how long it takes me to make thumbnails. That is half the time it takes me normally to make thumbnails. I spend too much time on them. While, while I'm making a thumbnail, Hashi is making weeks of content. 
I am. I, I've go. finished through June. I'm, I'm actually taking a, a quick look at this shot again, just because I want to remind myself of how cool that is. Oh, yeah. Such a good shot. I also love, I mean, great trailer cutting, too. The, the, the boulder into the thing, which, by mm. the way, boulder. Boulder. I hardly know her. This this has this has to be a a joke, right? Yeah. Oh, or it's I didn't actual... notice that Indy was also helping there. Yeah. I assumed it was Indy walking ahead, and Phoebe said, "Hang on," and then you see that, like, without anybody, just see this. Yeah, this poor like Atlas's globe go rolling down this corridor, destroying everything. And like, imagine if we were in front of that situation oh god why aren't we writing this movie we should be writing this movie <laughs> is that what we should be doing this, this on this episode so well, that's another send, thing we could be doing today is right writing boulder down a co- down a corridor you should definitely do it as a practical effect because you don't want a corridor digital you know what oh. i don't want to use corridor in a negative context all right no we love corridor digital. here's the thing every cool thing that we think to do corridor already did it. it's the absolute truth so respect Plus, we love them. We love you guys. Bye. Especially Ren. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> I'm just watching more people getting punched in the face. <laughs> God, what I do cool. love is like is the I mean is the, the frame word by frame right in front the, of them punching, and also the like the the moment of uh, reaction. Oh yeah, is literally exactly one frame late, which is which in motion looks phenomenal. It's very Indiana Jones. Wait, wait. So him hitting the Nazi in the face in the in the car, I noticed going frame by frame, there's a delay there. But then the one there at the protest, I don't think I even saw him react. Did I miss it? Oh, see, it's so, it's so about that older movie where you, the punch happens, then the react happens fast enough that you don't really feel it as but wrong. Who's but he it, punching? It just feels better. Oh, I see it. Never mind. I saw yeah. it then. Yeah. Oh, it's because you were going backwards. That one there has the delayed reaction, which is great, which is the... Because mm-hmm. the spring back happens there already. Fist already moving back, so the momentum should yeah. be transferred. And then... But it's But it's it reads... Great. It, in motion, it reads better. It, re- it does. Well, with sound. Sound's a big old part of it. Yeah, the sound really does tell you when the hit happened, huh? You know, it does make me want to... Uh... See. Okay. okay. By I'm, the way, this I'm is a an accident. Bit curious. I, I know we have, you know, we're an hour into the shot. I'm into the show. I'm curious if this shot is recreatable digitally. It's funny because we have pyro now and that's really cool and all, but if I were doing this in the fastest way possible, I would just use stock footage. That's true. From in, well, from this trailer. You yeah, just I'll just take use the this plate. <laughs> One layer after effects, boom. Now, by the way, <laughs> by because of the way that I did scene edit, edit, edit detection and pre comp that shot, this is how the trailer cuts now for me. Wait, oh man, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There, there is. I think the foreground guys are stunt people. Oh yeah. But there is one, I think, digital person. And let me, let me press my tilde key for a second. They may all be digital. Okay. What I love they is we never know digital, who is in our chat that knows the great. answers to this. But, but yeah, someone's got to know. Todd, we weren't making fun of you earlier. Let us know who. Oh, we were never. I think Corridor uh, got the worst part of today's episode. This dude right here. Oh, so watch this guy. He flies up and does a little like hits a wall and then falls. These two guys actually both look a little ragdoll physics. Wait, they also, their right. faces are pure white. Are they crash test dummies? I told you they were dummies. But like, are I the mean, actual it, crash test they, dummies from Saturday morning cartoons? Well, they, they set the precedent for it when they, they nuclear blasted a town full of dummies in the last Indiana Jones. Those are just busters. This is the from scaled Busters. down, like intimate version of that. If only it, these folks had many fridges. If you zoom in on those... By the way, I'm still I'm still a believer in the nuke the fridge. I still think it's rad. Uh, if we zoom in on their foreheads, you can see a hazard sign, the circle with the uh, the you know looks like a tracking marker, the crash test dummy thing. Maybe it's a Nazi symbol. I am I am glad that those guys are getting work because I mean huge for a little while. Yeah. I can't. Uh, I don't know how to uh, move around my frame. Oh, here we are. 
I mean Premiere, so I don't know really how to navigate a oh, yeah, zoomed Premier in image. It doesn't do anything for that. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Still a very impressive shot. So I'm kind of curious to see if I could recreate this one. I mean, unconscious people do live like ragdolls, too, so... It's true. Once the explosion goes off, they could be, like, Maybe they knock the stuntmen un unconscious, hook them up to the rig. For me, it's the physics of the impact before the fall is too fast ah. on that character. So watch. In real time, the, the fall is too fast. From hitting that, you'd be stuck there for just a second longer before starting to fall down if you threw a person at, a, at the wall. Well, you know, classically, that's what will Hang on, let me go find a person. <laughs> no, watch how, watch yeah. how fast anything else got, that would be I falling relative to gravity is falling. You got several. Too fast. You got several p p persons in there for you. That's all. That's the, my only complaint is this one, one dude falling slightly too fast. Oh, Hamara Pereira. What is I'm cooking? now about to recreate uh, this really us. poorly. <laughs> We are. We were talking through trailers that dropped this week. Transformers. We barely mentioned because who cares anymore? Uh, Indiana <laughs> Jones. Uh, we are on a hardcore because we are very excited about it. And we also talked about the Cocaine Bear trailer. And uh, I got uh, really depressed breaking apart the Cocaine Bear trailer into comps, uh, thinking about Paddington. So I'm moving on to not fixing this Indiana Jones uh, head thing. I just want to experiment and see if I can learn anything by trying to fix this Indiana Jones shot. That's what that I'm sounds good. Hashi, you take over. All right. I'm about to do really fun stuff. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, that shot of the uh, of the floor exploding is way cool. I I really like it. And one of the ways that I would try to start recreating something like that it would be by I think that that floor could just be. Let's see. There are a couple ways you could do the floor. Um, I'm. Because I love the way all the boards looked flying apart, I'm actually going to literally do uh, create a board of my own like this. And then uh, instead of like a, you could do a Veronoi fracture with like a wood pattern situation, but instead I'm going to just try making a, a cloner with a bunch of these. Put it in honeycomb, Oops. put it in honeycomb mode. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll go to the cloner, we'll change it to a honeycomb, and we'll go to its transform property. So wait, no. Um, per step, we want it to be... So there's no no height offset. Jason Murphy, there will oh, be a whoops. raptor version of that horse shot. Well, now there's going to have to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn it. What are you looking for, Hush? Wait, why am I? Uh, that's that what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. So I want that, and then I want the things you want over it to be, that much. You, you want the offset to be exactly in the middle. Yeah, yeah, like that. And then you'd want to make the per step smaller. Where am I? Oh, yes. Okay. Been a, been a while since I've uh, jumped into the old make a wood floor situation. So... The wood floor doesn't have very many beams in this little section. It's probably got, I don't know. Do, 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 do. No, you need to you need to have them smaller so that the sections inter interlap. Yeah. So so make them wider vertically. How we're looking at it now, and then smaller the other way because you need to space. Wait. Them. So what am I what am I looking at? I want the oh, no, no. Don't touch. No, uh, stop. No. Don't do that. <laughs> just right there. Go. Yeah. To Go to that. Make that. Make that more. Make the. Make it go up and down more. And in. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. No. Go in further. In. Yeah. And then make the other. Then spread them out the other direction. Uh. Yeah. Right there. Oh yeah. So they're overlapped. I gotcha. And they probably would need it. You probably need a third set. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Michael. No problem. And let's make the floor a little bit wider. That's probably that's probably plenty. So yeah, we made a floor out of a out of a thing, and those are slightly thick little planks like that. Um, under the cloner, I'm going to add a. Let's see. How do I do? I add a tag to the cloner that is a bit of random. 
Uh, you know. What you, I want to do to give everything a little bit of a a random effector. A, a random effector. Yes. So a random effector. Those are effector. Random effector. right there. That, that uh, go down. No, no, not that, not that section. That's the deformer. You want the next the section below it? Nope, nope. Down, down, uh, down, down, that one. Random effector. So, yeah. Okay, random so. effector. A random effector. Now I don't remember. Do, you, I know you that you can go. You just you need to move it. Right? Yeah. So it's a. Uh, so strength can be. On well, I, I usually I usually put the strength all the way up and then just fuss with the parameters oh, yeah, to get the parameters where I want them. Because the the offset I don't want to be very much. Let me see if I can just do like one it's centimeter like a tiny, worth. Tiny bit. Yeah. Yes, even less. 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5, and you can see what we're doing is we're just making it so that it's not a perfect grid. It's a little bit off. Yeah. You like, might you might want to do like a tiny touch a tiny touch of rotation too. I want. I definitely want that. I, mean, I think on. Assuming it's an old thing, looking at the old floors in this house, you definitely want some rotation. Yeah, around it. like you can. You could tell like right away. For example, if I add like a light, that's way back here. Um, yeah. If I play with the random effector again, um, turn it off as I'm on. doing this now, like look at it. all the detail you're getting just yes. from lighting now. That makes it so that's a more organic floor. There was a series I think in in. Dem uh, it may have been demystifying post-production. Uh, shoot, that was basically all about making it, making your shot more imperfect. Yeah, that's the key to making they, a really good thing is adding organic imperfections, which is why it's nice that they have um, imperfection maps in Cinema 4D now. So if you go to your asset browser, when you're making materials, uh, you've got scratches and smudges and stuff that you can easily throw into your roughness channels or whatever. Uh, Verbetsky, hello in the Ukraine. My last name also ends in ski, but it's S K I in my case because I my genetic uh, one quarter of my genetic ancestry is Polish. I was about to ask what what percentage of your ancestry is Polish? Yeah, my my dad is half Polish and half Lithuanian, so he calls himself Polith, which he thinks is very funny. Let's go around the room and talk about what percentage of our heritage is Polish. Zero. I don't know. I, it's it's ridiculous. I am a I'm a first uh, hybrid Japanese and Indian. Like legitimately, very like first I am type. I am legit. Like as far as my genetics show, exactly split down the middle. That's with incredible. A slight like one percent favoring uh, Indian. That's incredible. I have never done a genetic testy thing. I'm I should just, do one. I'm just trusting my parents and their parents and their parents before. Never them. trust your parents. Have you not been told that? I mean, as far as I can tell. That's true. You should trust your right. parents. They're great. Now, could, can I add a? Uh... What do you want? What do you want to do? Oh, so what I would want to do is I would want to probably use some like bullet physics on this. You would have turn to turn these into physics, yeah. rigid body. Yes. But I would also tell them. Um, for collision, I would want the, instead of triggered immediately, I want that, because watch this. They okay. should just either fall straight down unless my random effector is making them touch each other, in which case they'll, they'll explode. explode. But I think you got them far enough apart that it won't. Let's see. Oh, it's thinking. Why is or, it I thinking? Or, or I missed the play button. No. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. So yeah, there we go. So yeah, the floor falls out from under you. So if I change this from immediately to on collision, then I can do what I like to do, which is... Uh, add an explosion sphere. So what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to enable a keyframe right there. I like to use auto keyframing, even though it can be very scary for a lot of people to use. And That's why it's a big red outline I'm, around you. All I'm going to do viewport. is that right there. I'm going to move it from there to there, eight frames long. Uh, depending on how many frames long this impact in, uh, is, it's how fast it'll turn into. So now I'll turn off my auto keyframing, whatever. And uh, on the sphere, let's add a, a whoops, a bullet tag, a collider body. And if I want, I can just uh, hide the uh, sphere from the render and the viewport. So now when I play, you can see uh, this. Perfect. Done, right? I would I, I would suggest putting a floor in. That they can like and bounce put, off of. And putting a collider on it. And put it just slightly below your planks. No, I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna. That go way, the shot and remind myself. Because what happened? They do they bounce in that shot after they explode? Because well, I imagine there are like floor from falling away. 
Oh, a good point. The rest of the floor. So, wait. So they fall through. Are any of them colliding? Oh, we didn't even get that far on the shot. See, we're we've got have the disadvantage of having to try to do all this stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a plane, and I'll just move it up here for a second. And it's got a uh, ten by ten segments. I'll make it very big like that. And I'm actually going to press. Uh, C to bake it out. Uh, I could leave it a plane normally, but what I want to do is oh, punch a. Uh, yeah. Oops. Let's select um, kind of. I don't know. I'm trying to make it not like perfectly. There we go. Let's delete all of those polygons from it. And then we'll put it back. Uh, we can just go to the coordinates and turn it back to zero. And on it, we'll say simulation tag. Ah, I keep on saying simulation. Bullet tag, collider body. Yeah, so, unfortunately, rigid bodies are not yet included in the full simulation where everything else is yet. So if everyone remembers, we basically now have a this weird, you know, like low poly hole under this part of the floor. But, it's all, but it exists around for these other parts, so they have somewhere to stay. I'm going to, on, on my uh, collider tag for the plane, I'm going to go to its dynamics and... Oh, there's a rattlesnake in here. Mm. I'm going to get a bunch of alarms in just a second. Let me tell my phone to leave me alone. Um, I'm going to go to Your its phone uh, alerts when there's a rattlesnake? Uh, yes. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually supposed to be this. It's, it's take, your, oh. take your pills. So oh I'm going to take my pills, everybody. Take your pills when you're supposed to. Take your pills, if, take if we've your learned, pills. I won't say that. Hey, everybody, take your pills. I'm going to make a drop for taking pills. Maybe I take, shouldn't, now that I think the, about it. Yeah, we'll, let's, uh, we'll, we'll hold on that. Yes! There we prescribed go. Prescribed pills. So look at this. So now we have a beautiful bit of interaction. And the hole looks pretty organic because you get these little beams that stick out over parts of it. But, you know... The simulation is over by then. So, like, this is what I'm going for is right here. Boom. And I think that in the trailer, there are two blasts. So I think that there is literally... Um, let me see. Let's go to a side view, and we'll, we'll turn my sphere on again for a second. So we've got this sphere, and I'm also going to uh, control and drag one over here, which is going to be confused because of my uh, keyframing. Just delete your keyframes off of it. Yeah. So or, or alternatively, delete the X and Z keyframes, just leaving the Y, and that way you can just move it wherever you want, and you still got the oh, same that's animation. A good, that's a good point. It's too okay. late. It's too late for me, son. Real I'm quick, going real to, quick, I'm sorry. I'm going to bust in here and say, I do. just imported a, a round, like So I was going to take Jason Murphy's advice, and I was going to say, mm -hmm. I fixed this shot uh, by adding a raptor uh, into it. Now, I went to import a roaring raptor that we had already exported as an OBJ sequence, and I found one called Gaga, too. And I remembered, you know what? I remember Hashi animating a roar. So I imported this object's sequence, OBJ mm -hmm. sequence, not knowing what it was you actually did. And <laughs> this is what I just imported. You did. Mm -hmm. Many people were not aware <laughs> that in, let's see, I'll, I'll, I've got to find it in our but with raptors feed this is a full on woman the the that lady gaga in okay i've got it pulled up full frame okay it's so funny <laughs> lady gaga <laughs> and her body are completely digital in this yep i didn't know <laughs> Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know the body was digital. I thought you just replaced the head, but I guess I, I love guess how little you did. She doesn't. She doesn't roar at Bradley Cooper. <laughs> well, I love she how little roar. you did to. I. I. It. No one thinks it's 3D because of how lazy the transition from raptor to human is. <laughs> it's a nice little the little like ribbon she's got like tied around her neck. You yes. scoot. You, you Hanna Barbera it. If you remove it's that perfect. that 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 ribbon, by the way, your head falls off. Uh, yes. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's a there's a version of that, that my children know of the golden screw that is like a screw in the your the belly button and the Ooh. kids like asking all the people in the village like how do you take that out like they go like go ask the wise man and he's like I can't tell you and they tell more and more and he asks more and more wise men until finally one says okay like 
like, you're welcome to do it if you want. Find out for yourself. And so the kid gets a golden screwdriver, which can undo the screw, and his butt falls off. That's it. That's uh, that's the story, and it's one of our favorites. My kids would love that story. They're they're at the age where anything to do with toots and their butts is very very funny. So twenty seven. And I think we talked about it on the show too. But this this second Bradley Cooper shot is also all digital. <laughs> oh, it is. Wait. That's it's uh, it's a still of Bradley. It's this still oh, of Bradley I Cooper being um, avatarify animated. So you're wow. just animating and, him and, to... And then I like animated a little shadow, so it's like he's backing up into the car saying... <laughs> do you people see how much work we do to entertain you? <laughs> yep. We had to employ deep fakery, like a full CG, full CG shot. Like I'm using a little bit of like the background image here, I guess, that I re- had to repaint because she's standing right here in this shot. I mean, it's, are... <laughs> in the grand scheme of things... In the... This is a dumb joke, but the amount of work we put into it, I say we, you put into yeah. it. Is a masterpiece. And if you're not following the Lovely Butt with Raptors account, Lovely butt. please, please, uh, Butt with Raptors, Lovely Butts. We look, <laughs> at, the, look at this dedication. The lovely butt. That to, Elvis one is so good. To, a, to this craft. There's, you know, just hit after hit. And by the way, guys, <laughs> I'm just going to say it here on the record. I've been making a movie since July. Everything you've seen on this account since July has been this guy. This guy. It's so good. And it's all incredible. I have been one-upped. Not one-upped. We are, we are a team. This is just unbelievable work. That is, Hashi has been pulling the weight around here on the Bowman banner Rackers. is so perfect. It really is. I love that oh, it lasts Hashi, saw, as long com- as it does. I was looking at some of the comments. People noticed that you did the shadow on his, the raptor sh- head on the shadow shot. Thank you. And that, that little head turn being Dr. Sadler is also noticed by the people. And that banner is great because the, it lasts it lasts a split second, then it's gone. That's why it's so good. Yeah, the hair shake that happens right here is one of my favorites. I can't remember that hair shake right there. <laughs> yes. I, I it look it's actually it's yeah, I, I talked about it on the show last week. It's a low poly piece of like photogrammetry hair with a couple of extra pieces on them with soft body dynamics but somehow <laughs> the the highlight or the you know the value that i got in the specular just worked perfectly to look like his hair it falls apart in the close-ups but no you get I, it I, I, it's you get fine. it it's good. it's good now someone asked did you how did you get arnold's voice in your terminator joke thing you did earlier this week but th- i was there... i was distracted what what did yeah i used the ai thing <laughs> i'm s- <laughs> so I'll, I'll be right with you, Michael. One second. <laughs> okay, and this is I'm where sorry, we what? flag. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry, YouTube. Uh, well, uh, I want did them you to flag use... that, and then I want to ask them why. <laughs> did you use the uh, the what's what's it called the um, 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 fake you to do the Arnold voice? Uh, yes, I used uh, fake you to do that. I used to use site, Uber Duck speech. a lot for fake voices, but now they want me to pay for them. Well, it's like, and, who do we uh, want to be? Not Donald Trump. No, thank you. Let's be... Uh... See, I, I was. there's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie voice in there. Oh, uh, they got Chris Pratt in there? That's probably how they did the voice for the Mario movie. Burn! Burn! Burn. Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. It's me. Oh, uh... Jack Black as Bowser. That was fantastic. Your son... We are related. Trying to find who asked the question about the Arnold voice. Someone way back here asked about it. In the chat. Somebody asked about it. We answered your question, person who asked. I don't yep. remember. And it's pending. Pending. Wait, Frigby, I wasn't paying attention to when you said a friend of yours shot the original video for something. Oh, boy. What is that going to be? Yeah, Frigby, the original video for what? The Rick, I don't remember what was Rick on the screen roll? at the time. The Rick video? I mean, it was that was a very recent. The Rick Askley. What? You have a friend who shot the Rick Askley music video for Never Gonna Give You Up? Oh, that's got to suck to not wow. be making any money from that. <laughs> yeah, but just think of all the oh, um, this is all the cash you probably get to see from that. It's Definitely. like this nose I'm trying to show it off. Frigby Chillweather is older than we thought they were. 
Kirby Chillweather is or, or been dead like for 17 a years. Doc situation with friends. Oh, yeah, it's true. Marty and Doc are supposed to be friends. Yeah. It, it's fine, you know. If you can't be. <laughs> you did fix a shot. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's better now. It is better now. What are you doing, Hush? What am I doing? <laughs> I might cut back this? and you're still watching the ghost video. It's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes have glazed over. Entranced. Wow, glazed. Very good joke, Seth. Because pottery. Oh, God. See you, Mike. <laughs> Just kidding. You're back. <laughs> I'm not the one that made the joke. It was you. I know. I hate when you point out that I made a... No, okay, I'm just. I see. I, th- I think we. I think we make puns accidentally because our brain is making that connection subconsciously, and so then we just say the thing that is the joke because our brain is just in that area. So the yes. word, the the word that you're thinking, like thinking of, it, it. I think the word you would be thinking of the situation is changing based on the context. I think our brains pun accidentally. That was Michael Slavsky, and that was his TED talk. Thank you, everyone, so much. I really want a TED talk from you about puns, which I think we basically oh, just got. It's just. It's, it's, what, what it's like, can you like say my, my, my already schedule is so busy <laughs> <laughs> it is busy <laughs> oh you've got a nice fire light I see going on there yeah, Steve Spielberg like, I'm, I'm just using that's a nice, very yellow basic, light basic C4D light. isn't it Spielberg's see, I just told Spielberg you short not, fire light not... see, wait what am I what was the question uh, Spielberg's uh, one of his first shorts there was a uh, uh, Sugar Escape, Land Express. Escape to no- uh, no, 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 as a kid. Escape to Nowhere, uh, which was this war, uh, more, war movie he made. And Firelight, I think, is the one he made with the, um, the two plates of glass with the little, it's basically the alien, like, floating glowy pre-close encounters. Anyway. Someone said... Call Spiral. up your buddy JJ, who telecinated those. Pretty sure you have closer ties to Spielberg than I do, sir, since you rode on the man's jet. And 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 stole his. Is sweatshirt. that the one? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't steal the sweatshirt. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I didn't steal the. I was sweatshirt literally from thinking about Steven that. Spielberg's bathroom on his private jet. <laughs> oh, it's a whole thing. Don't. Guys, how did you miss the feet? Bad Billy asks from the chat. The feet. How do how do we miss the feet in the uh, in if the you Indiana mean the Jones? Rest? If you mean in the raptor thing, the raptor is always only the head, except for in the very early days, I think we had a tail version in the Mission Impossible thing. But ever since then, the raptor has only ever been (laughs) just the head and the hands and feet are human. Which means like per like per our like raptor verse canon, it just means that there's one shot where there is a a different not Tom Cruise naked ass raptor walking through oh, the hallway. Uh, they <laughs> mean they, they're talking about they want us to rag on the horrible work on the feet at 54 uh, 54 seconds and 3 frames into the Indiana Jones trailer. We're not ragging on the trailer. We're the, not gonna rag we on we, the we already covered that the VFX in the trailers are never final and they're just being rushed to get the trailer done and so they don't need to be ragged on VFX are hard. Hang on, 54 or 3 feet. I don't see no feet. Well, uh, maybe they're talking about the c- cocaine bear trailer then. I don't know. 5403 in. How can you miss the horrible work on the feet? 5403. With three question marks. Is. I'm going to show you what um, 5403 um, is. Unless they mean 54 minutes and three seconds That's into our, our show, show. Which I don't case. know how to rewind to. Oh, God. Wait, we have time? Time exists in our show, too? We have time. In fact, it is. Yeah, it is. We have 28 Billy, minutes You're going to have to be a little more specific on what you're talking about, because here's 54 minutes and three seconds into the trailer that I mean, we were watching. It, and it there's does, not that is, many feet. He is correct. There are no feet in the shot. There's horrible feet work. Yeah. Are you talking about his <laughs> dancing skills? That's mean. He's old. He's, he's not as light on his toes as he used to be. So, I'm fairly sure that's the point of the movie. So what I'm doing in the background here. Is that how I now I have two spheres timed slightly after each other to kind of represent the initial blast and then a secondary, slightly bigger one? Which I would point out is realistic. Uh, with an actual large explosion, the shockwave travels first and the fire comes second. So with heat, thus temperature, thus giving more force. So this it would be accurate for one explosion to have two seeming motions to it. All right, so I'm saving this... As it is. And then as soon as I do simulations, I start uh, version saving, which is, uh, you know, control or option. 
Control Alt or Control or Option Alt. Command Alt. Yeah. Co- or command command option. yeah. Command, command option. option on a Mac save. S, and you'll see it added a nice little O1 here. I because think I like the way save this looks. in both After Effects and Cinema 4D all the yes. time. And, and this is, pr- I mean, I, I'm digging this. Uh, I, 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 would I would like ignore- to point out that there's a, a separate, entirely different way you could do something like this. If you made the floor out of a Voronoi fracture object, you can very easily parametrically generate connectors between things. So you could generate a floor with dynamic connectors that hold the boards together and then are only broken by the explosion, which would hold the other boards in place as well. well if you wanted true. to get very fancy. But I think Hashi's way is better for... Like for like just a it. quick art directed, I'm yes. trying to copy something other. So like basically the people who made the film did all the work. That's why like recreating the shots, uh, we say this every now and then, but maybe not often enough, that the work of creating this shot, well, oh, darn it. I forgot I was in the whole darn a trailer. <laughs> and I haven't done a scene edit detection on it yet. Okay. So, yeah. The people who arranged stunt coordinated if there are any stunt people in it, which is awesome that I have no idea. I have no idea if they're fully digital people. I think this is a practical explosion because I love the way this piece of wood is actually split like down the middle. And so it's like Vernier is falling forward. And like I feel like that's a cool attention to detail that you would accidentally get because this is like a fake wood, you know, it's finished to look a certain way for the shot. But then, well, yeah. when explosions happen, I, I really like to think that that's the, the, this is a real explosion. But I don't know. That could be a completely digital shot, and that's what I'm doing is trying to recreate this as a totally digital shot. So yeah, but we'll the, the hard work of designing the shot has already been done. Exactly. Yeah. So, and you know, uh, the other, it doesn't cover a lot because a lot of people are like, oh, I made the vi- I made this visual effects shot that, like the movie and blah 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 blah. Yeah, they concepted it first, they laid everything out. There's all that work too. All right, so now I'm going to turn to a uh, my good old friend, the Sketchfab, uh, which I have the Cinema 4D uh, plugin for, so I can just click on here and say connect to Sketchfab, and then I'll uncheck that and I will say uh, Soldier. I'm just going to broadly type Soldier, and we'll see. I mean, this is, let's see, who does this come in as? This guy looks pretty, pretty good. Let me see. Uh, we'll cut to the trailer real quick. Oh, my gosh. I keep on not <laughs> isolating. You really, shot. really need to throw this into a little pre Oh, my gosh. Wait, where does it happen? Where does yeah, it happen? you got to do what I did, which is. Did you see Edit Detect this dude, already? I've seen it Detected this whole bitch. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to do it manually because I don't want to waste the time right now, but I'll break that out and okay. Okay, so now we've got this isolated. All right. So now watching it on a loop. So you've got the cool, like, look at the light interactivity on the ceiling. Yeah. Because I assumed that the ceiling wasn't real, but that the floor was. Oh, interesting. Which is a weird that assumption, but the, the ceiling does very well match the uh, initial fire. And uh, to speak again like of explosions, like Michael was saying it before, and also Corridor has a fantastic video uh, that Nico just did on uh, discussing the physics of an, a movie explosion like this. And this one feels like it's following that, where there's... The, there's Corridor of Reddit. Blast that puts a bunch of and then a spray of a bunch of burnable fuel that then ignites uh, secondarily. It's hard to see because uh, a real explosion would blow out the camera if you were exposed to shooting a dark, uh, a, a room that was basically lit by just this fireplace earlier, maybe. So, I mean, honestly, like, like there's not a single frame of this that you see that isn't technically lit by the explosion where you can see what the original room would have looked like with just that fire, you know, and whatever other lighting design you wanted to do in there. But uh, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. So I've got to look at these soldiers and I feel like they're kind of generic. They they really do look like generic, these guys. So I'm going to grab this. So I import it and I'll say, okay. And then I'm going to, I think I've used this guy before. Oh, it's even, it's rigged already. Uh, 
And he's are a German gonna, soldier. Are you, gonna just, are you just gonna IK chain everything and put some colliders in there, or or what's your plan? Um, I'm trying to figure out what I should. Ooh. I'm a little bit concerned about this because I want to. Deciding if I do want to. Act, yeah, the, there's something bizarrely misaligned here. Maybe the see that in my version he's invincible. I just <laughs> hangs out there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grab this guy and just move him to a new project for just a second so I can focus on what the heck happened here. The the rig came in and is misaligning things, and I don't know what is responsible for that because I assume if I move the rig, it'll move the whole thing together. And so it's just that something is off. So let me open up this uh, skeleton wherever it is. Open oh. up the skeleton. Let me open the up things the you say in visual effects that you wouldn't be able to say in real life. I'm just gonna open up the skeleton. Ugh. <laughs> just open quick. up the skeleton here. So if I got rid of the skeleton completely, like you do, I'm just going to grab this guy and I'm going to do this. I'm going to <sighs> connect. You just gonna make him a soft body with balloony sort of things going on. <laughs> I'm going to Hashi, connect and delete. So good. And then on this object, I'm going to go uh, five. Well, actually, let's let's look at his poly count. Why, might as well start with that too. Um, poly reduction. Let me see what he looks like if I 90% polygon reduce. Fine. That's absolutely fine for this That's shot. Fine. Great. So just like that, uh, by putting it in a polygon reduction, I've gotten rid of 90%. Of the of the heavy data that has to travel with them, then I can grab this model and go to uh, object bake object because I want a single material form instead of all of these little polygon tags, which will which will likely get messed up. Uh, let's make it a I don't know twenty forty eight by twenty forty eight texture. It doesn't need a lot. A single texture JPEG and. Let's save that in this folder we're working in today, which is something. David Fairchild oh, really wants to animate him marching with that weird stretchy leg effect. <laughs> and I have to say, that would <laughs> Do be some amazing. Amazing, like silly walk stuff. Let's see. Oh, was it not? Okay, it's not a single. Was it the illumination channel? Mm, nuts. Okay. Uh, wait, undo. What is. How are these textures working? I've got to quickly look at them. Um, it's in the reflectance channel. I hate that. Those okay. jerks. How? New script. Nuts. Okay. I know that you can technically. So this one's this one's garbage. I don't need that anymore. Yeah, reflectance is where they they get mapped often. So what I need to do is I think if I open up one like this into a new window, I can click on reflectance here and then go to the base color where this uh... This one's oh. not using any texture. No, oh, this one's not. Dang it. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to each of these. Dang it. This is this is the the unfortunate part about working with something like this. Wait, what do you do? You can you grab the picture. Yeah. Picture the color. put it in the color channel. Okay. And then enable and color and turn off reflection. Oh gosh, I need it. I do need a script. Okay, reflectant base color. Grab the picture, drag it to the color channel, enable that, disable that. This is this is boring. Seth, what are you doing? <laughs> well, excellent question. I am. I've fallen into <laughs> my old raptoring ways. I felt. Listen, chat. When you bring up raptors. Like you just have to be prepared for what's about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. If you if ourselves. you shout that during the show, we will get distracted and <laughs> dedicate the entire rest of the show all, and all three of our us lives. have ADHD with focus yes. issues. And several of us are medicated for it. And, and yeah, I had my not. pill reminder in the middle of the show. Yeah. So, yeah <laughs> I am, and I am not medicated for it. I am so heavily medicated. Do you understand what life would be like for me if I wasn't medicated? Like this is what I'm like with medication. I think I should probably get some for me at some point. <laughs> I, I, what's, your, what's your address? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. And also, thinking, you know, unsanctioned our, yeah. drugs. 
Yeah, and again, per legal, do not don't mail have random piles of drugs. Internet friends don't do drugs. drugs. Your friends. I am. I just thought it'd be funny. The guy says, "Who is this guy?" And then you cut to. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's fantastic. Oh yeah, you could finish that out and and get it on our show. I mean, on our Twitter feed. Who knows? Which, and, by the way, and, if you if, if you're here, please go follow us on Instagram. But with uh, Raptors on Insta- on Instagram. Oh, on Twitter, you mean? Both. Yeah. We're not updating. But you know, Instagram. like Instagram, you know, just in case. We are on Instagram, just in case. But we also haven't been updated it for a long time. I don't think. Yeah, I think that I like. I think I do. I did find the login, but I didn't have it for a while, and I had not been updating <laughs> anything there. Really need to update it, Ash, because in I case know. in case Twitter burns. Wait, why would that happen, Michael? What's going on? Uh, anything anything notable going on with no, any, I mean, any figures related big. to some Twitter? Some, probably nothing, right? Not worth looking probably at. Probably nothing. I mean, it generally, it's probably nothing. Except the end of Twitter as we knew it. But other than that... The end of the... Oh my gosh, this is the, the most boring process. I'm almost... Jason Murphy section. says that, that they think they would cry if they actually got medication and realized how much they could have been getting done all these years. Yeah, I'm concerned about that for me it's, as well. Hey, hey yeah. we don't live in the past. Uh, Nick, ta- no, listen, your life has been full of rich and enjoyable distractions. Nick Toth says, have you guys tried 3D objects in the new beta version of AE? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for a couple seconds, and went, fine. Ooh, and then went back to the things that work. It's not oh, ready wait. yet for anything that we do or me yeah, do. It's, I do it's great. It's, it's a good way for them to have it in a build so they can keep adding to it. But yeah, it does, it's not. Uh... It's going to be good. It'll for be really people cool. who need a 3D logo just real quick or some 3D text just real quick. Like it's going to be great for that. Or people who just need to have a thing just real quick on the screen. It's going to be great for those things. By the way, I when I'm not medicated, I'm told by my wife I am significantly more fun to be around. Uh, the problem is I get nothing done. And if anything's going wrong, like if I'm very impatient and lose my crap real real quick. But... So for what it's worth, if you're not on medication for ADHD and you worry that you're missing out on something, I'd argue you're probably more fun uh, right now than you would be on the meds. That said, I'm heavily medicated and would die without them. <laughs> well said. Forget to feed yourself? Because so that's what family. I do. <laughs> oh, I never forget to feed myself. Don't you worry about that. Uh, I just wouldn't have anything oh, to feed. Yeah, the, three, the new 3D in After Effects is going to be great for people who don't have Element or Helium. Um, I, just, or, I, mean, I was going to say or Cinema 4D, but everyone who has After Effects has Cinema 4D Light. So. Drugs, That's booze, we've had it all this week. Yes, for good chill weather, we have had it all this week. <laughs> and we hope that you do too, personally. <laughs> Again, per, you. per legal... <laughs> Only drugs given to you by your medical professional and not mixed with booze unless they specifically say that you may. Oh, yes. I don't and know what to do about this age in the country you resi- in which you reside. And, uh, and Please follow uh, our, the local, state, and And the requirements of your guidelines. religious practice. If you're, if you're Muslim, you probably shouldn't do any of the booze stuff. Or Mormon or Southern Baptist, unless you're by yourself. Uh, I don't know what to do about this hat. <laughs> that's Hashi, what we have been a hat? saying for years yeah i've got a hat we have an indie uh, hat i have a hat from when we did the invisible man like, did you not did you not yeah i was literally monkey around with my camera earlier and and show my my raptor wearing a hat uh you mean oh boy oh, i've not done it i'm not fast enough with it i do i do have a 3d hat uh, somewhere for when I did the Invisible Man fight. <laughs> yes, there we go. Just take that. You can use that hat. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. Let me let me see if I if I very clearly do somewhere. Let me uh, what's it under? I I've had one before, but I don't remember for what now. Oh, for singing in the rain. Oh. Well, so it might be it might be in there already, and you just need a different uh, Here's the qu- texture on it. And so it's I think already, that's a fedora. It's already on it too, right? Then 
Like it's oh, already, yeah. Because I don't know how to attach it to the head. I've never been able to figure that out. Oh, yeah. You got to do that on the cinema 4D level. Yeah, but I've never been able to figure out how. Cause I'm oh, you got to put, you got to attach it to the skeleton. Attach it to the skeleton. Mm hmm. Just like, yeah, if you want to attach something to sort of moves with, with somebody's body, you've got to, like, you know, get a deck screw and screw it into their skeleton. <laughs> It'll stay locked a deck screw. in place. Only, by the way, deck screws are all I own. I don't, I don't own any other kinds of screws. Is that bad? Yeah, it's fine. There, 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 there couldn't, how many could there be? Like literally Fire I'm like hanging director. things on my wall with uh, deck screws. Is that bad? Well, it's a, you know, it's, like, I mean, if you want you them need, to be there as strongly yeah. as a deck, then, you know, I, I don't <laughs> I do. see what the problem is. I think it's important that you make sure you're very clearly saying deck and not swapping in another vowel. Yeah, no dock screws. Yeah, no dock screws. Yeah. Don't want any dock screws. Uh, Fire, the art director, says their meds only keep them from curling in a ball and crying under their desk, which uh, sounds like they're doing good work for you. Uh, Nakosh Afsal, I'm very sorry I pronounced your name wrong, says, anybody read comments? Yes. Uh, and Jason Murphy says, so are you saying that Hashi isn't going to send us all medication if we put our address in the chat? <laughs> He's not going to. No, I'm sorry. I mean, Canada Canada does give you free Even though they're so but... much more affordable here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Sending them internationally would probably be. Considered. Yeah, it's the shipping, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shipping and the possible jail time. Oh, there's that. Wait, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why aren't, why aren't you? What did I do? Oh, did it, was that the wrong thing to do? Um, sorry, I was watching. We're watching Seth's screen, so we have no idea. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me go back to you. Uh, well, I'm not doing anything. Are you still trying to? Are you still meaningful. trying to bake it? Yeah, I was just trying to quickly bake them out, and I thought this is what I usually do. Blah blah blah. Do that and that and that, and say bake. I increased the size, and I'm doing some more sampling on it now. I mean, it, it came across it, two but days, it's probably large enough. It's giving a lot of. Well, I, so, why are you baking? You shouldn't have to. It should still work. It's just it, superstition. It's, yes, it's it's a you know I'm not superstitious, I'm, but I'm a little stitious. A little stitious. That's one, one of my favorites. Me favorite too. things. All right, fine. I'll export it with all these stupid. It, see, I'm just. You don't even need to export it. Just copy it and paste it. Well, I wanted to put it in a. Oh, I guess I don't need a mixamo thing. I'll just I'll make a. Make just it make a it a soft body. body. Yeah. Soft okay. Body. So make let's just test body. what would happen if um, we had a plane like this, and uh, under simulation, we're going to say collider, and then on this soldier, let me reveal how many polys he's got. So he's pretty. That's pretty sparse for a humanoid. So let's just, out of curiosity, tell him to be a soft body, and. You'll see this, which is kind of cool. This is basically the equivalent of if you had like a deck screw running from every section of <laughs> your body, you know, like a, a squishy a, deck a, screw. Yeah, an elastic deck screw. Um, yeah, you don't need to see that. So, hey, Hashi, real quick, I've got a singing in the rain. Do you have uh, oh. OBJ sequences for that? Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Oh, this was so much better than I, I could have imagined. Good Lord. And all that extra little debris that flies off because of it be makes it makes for a really cool. Um, yeah, he's going to explode. Great. So you can use the option to keep the animation, and he'll try to stay in position until he gets blown up, and then you can keyframe that down. So what is that mix animation? Mm. Oh, with pin like mm, before. Uh, yeah, with pin polish, with pins or forces. I, either way, and he'll he'll yeah. stay he'll stay sitting upright until the explosion happens. Then I would keyframe that off so he can just flop around without trying to float back yeah. up to his. So, uh, but you, Seth, you had a question a second ago. Uh, I found your and single I know rain. We've, cinema I know we've only got eight files. minutes, but I, I'm totally going to finish this shot perfectly. <laughs> uh, I found your singing in the rain, uh, Cinema 4D files, but I but I didn't know if you had OBJ sequences anywhere. Um, oh, um, it's okay. They they should still be in there. Nah, it's all right. I found this crap. You what probably were rendering like somewhere else. Brain, 3D stuff. It's okay. See. Raptor assets. 
sequence. Oh, so sing in S E Q uh S E Q means sequence. Up, I sing just looked at that. My bad. Head idol. Man, I'm so curious what I did with that. It's okay. You go back to what you were doing. Mm. Yes, you have seven minutes left for you to finish this explosion shot. We'll finish it. Okay, so what do we got? So let's go to... Uh, to da, 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 da. I'm going to go to the Sketchfab importer really quickly, and I'm just going to say, um, I don't know, uh, Bell Tower... Um, no, I need I, I need a small room. What's a small roundish room? Just say just say room. I don't like typing room into <laughs> Sketchfab. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. What if I did say round room? Uh, round table room. <laughs> Fine. Okay, we're going to grab this uh, round table room. I'm going to quickly see what the scale of this thing looks like. Oh, I've used this before for something. <laughs> so this room looks like this. I'm going to quickly break it into a uh, room wall, room wall, room wall. Pillars, podium, the room itself. Okay, so I want to knock out a bunch of it. So we'll say, uh, let's do a quick connect and delete situation. And so I can just have half this uh, room here. I'm going to get rid of this whole section of the floor that sticks up, I think, by clicking on that point and then saying UW. Oh, they're not very connected to each other. Control all U O will optimize it and make things be more connected. Control Alt. Oh, Control it? Control A. So you have everything oh. selected, mm -hmm. and then U O is optimize. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So so it happened in theory, right? In theory. Oh yeah. Look at that, Michael. Knowing what he's talking about again. <laughs> Let's see. So if I delete that, is that the walls too? Okay. So I've just got to do a little painting here. This is this is very silly what I'm doing. It's just because I want to be able to see the people, and I don't We're, like you're having... You're deleting. You're deleting the fourth wall. It's fine. Oh, well done. Thank well you. done. Okay. We'll delete these things so I can see through. This is this is not the way to do it. I'm sorry, everybody. It is. It, like it's it's that way to do it. This is. Uh, this is my like. Uh, I mean, it literally is a way to do it. You you get rid of the walls you don't need. Yeah, you're, you're, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. This is 100 like how set, you do it. Set building style. Don't lose the floor. Oh, well, you know you do want to lose the floor because you got you your fake floor. You want to lose the floor. That's right. So, there we go. I just want the walls. So that was the them. worst worst way you could have done that. No, it isn't. It's a ridiculous way to have done it. That's a fine way to do it. Okay, these pieces are they not selecting because of the normal direction? Doesn't matter. Okay. Gosh. What do we got? We're at three minutes you have now. Three minutes to finish this. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So in this instance, what I want to do is let's put a let's do a quick cloner. Let's put the the thing in that. Now we have a bunch of Germans and now we'll put them into a radial <laughs> Aw. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't <laughs> <laughs> I love that your first response was aw. Look at them. Make make love, not hate speech. Everybody. Cloner object, let's make it radius about that big. And I'll so add So you think the explosion should be this big or this big? Oh! Six soldiers, <laughs> and I'm going to have them kind of crowded around. Uh, <laughs> I love this ring around the like, resi key. They're like Jesus and the disciples. We want a table for four people. There's twelve of you. We want to sit on the one side. Okay, I love. I do love love that arrangement. Okay, and I want the room to be a little bit smaller so they hit the walls a little bit easier. 
And then, let me see the room again. Why am I not seeing... Uh, I want to get rid of all these little dangly bits. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vinicius, Vinic, Vinicius Augusto. Vinicius? Vinicius? I don't know. Sorry about your name again. Uh, I've been uh, butchering people's names today. I want a discount and Cinema 4D subscriber, please. Uh, Maxon has not done Cinema 4D discounts other than uh, upgrade op- uh, opportunities really for a long time. Yes. Right now that's Red Giant. Uh, I think 2019 was the last Red Giant sale. But uh, I think today might be the last day of the Universe sale. So if you if you are a brand new, sub, like if you've never had Red Giant Universe before and you're kind of curious, you can get it for half off for your first year. See, the, the thing is, Red Giant's like, we know these, Maxon's like, we know these Red Giant tools are great, but people aren't trying them. So if we could just let them have it for a little bit of money off, we can hook them because then they'll want them forever. That's their secret because they know they're cool and you'll want them forever. Wait, that's our whole business strategy, Michael. Is making cool tools that you want is, forever? Is based that's on the, drugs. That's basically a business strategy, <laughs> making awesome tools that you never want to be without. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make this room smaller and just just for myself. Yeah, well, I, I know that I took out the floor a second ago, but I'm going to put this back in just to remind myself where it is. I added a um, an attractor in the middle that is set to a negative value is that not the right thing to do no i don't uh, that Apparently should be for that. that would be for that. It, it's fine oh. you just need to cr- you have to crank the value way up but you need to put that tag on the cloner I think. yeah i just realized that let me see if uh what does it think it's doing now um it's just gonna think for a second and uh hey seth what's going on i have a feeling i'm about to crash this oh <laughs> uh i am just uh bringing normally i would apply a soft body to like a lower poly version of something but i have uh gone right ahead and tried to like play it with uh with my tags not set up properly uh i i am sampling some color so brown let's say 2a31 2a231 a i'm going to remember it manually oh no do i need to restart my cinema i just had that happen to me too that's right, like right on the dot too. Okay, I know no, you're not... right. You were right there. We were like seconds away from greatness. We were. Okay. All right. Let's get let's get rebooted here. You got your OBJ sequence there. Uh, yes, Seth, I can we one. go back to seeing Hashi instead of just just the rapture on a stick? Yeah. Oh, oh you want to actually yeah. see Hashi? Well, I'll see about that. Right after I'm done with this. All right. So what happened earlier is that my tag should have been on that thing. Let's save all this. Let's copy these guys into... What do we call the floor project? Uh, You might want to make them a little even lower poly just to make things go a little faster. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, yeah. But without, you know, take the tag off first. Hey, that's looking good. First of all, like, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've got to realign these people. The Germans are always improperly aligned in these things. It's a historical joke. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not making any sweeping generalization. I hope the chat Why appreciates the joke about historical war. Definitely. Happenings. I'm sure that it. That, okay, this is a very Indiana Jones looking thing because of the uplighting. <laughs> it's like they opened up the ark. It really is. Okay, let's uh, let's start incrementing and saving this business, and I'm going to move the building down so it's actually not those. I don't want this part of the room. I actually want mm-hmm. this part of the room, and maybe even. Let's see. Where do we like it, Mike? Uh, let's say here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like so this is cool. And I'm going to disable my. Okay. I put my soft body on this right now, but let me take the individual soldier out and I'm going to reduce the polygon count of them again. And normally what you could do is um, a, a trick that I learned a little while ago is you can, uh, I learned from EJ Hasenfratz and, 
probably grayscale guru. I feel like a lot of people have done this tutorial of how you can make a cage around your object. Mm -hmm. um, and what I tried, uh, oh, should I show the tip now? We do, it's weird. We're three minutes over time. We got you. Got to go. Yeah, good point. Okay, so I'll re I'll reduce them ninety percent more. Let's see. Let's see how many f how few polygons could you get away with? About oh, we're just gonna have to go with sixty five. Let's do that, and we'll put you back in the cloner. And now you're all soft body objects and soft body target length. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So now I need a. Uh, nuts, what do I need? I need, uh, let me see what happens first of all right here. We'll save it. Are you on GPU or CPU? Uh, should be on GPU. Okay. I don't remember C where I see that. What happens that. is when you start a simulation on CPU, it starts immediately because all of this data is already on the CPU because that's what you're working on. When you have it on GPU simulation, it will always Wait, be a little slower. Where do slower I check that setting? Uh, project settings. So okay, uh, control D. Yeah, so then under simulation, you can pick CPU or GPU. Okay, I like right feel like top. this is always on. Right. Anyway, CPU uh, when you oh, start yeah. simulation, GPU. CPU it starts immediately, but is slower as it go. You know, it it, it just goes <laughs> oh. slower. Oh yes, dang! That is look. That is very <laughs> Indiana Jones. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay, so we're getting something here. Does the so, floor have a regular collider on it and a bullet collider? Uh, no, it just has a has a bullet on it. Can I add, if I add a a simulation collider should work? Okay, so now the the board should affect them too. Okay. Oh yes, excellent. That's oh dangling legs. Dangling legs. Okay. Let, oh, you know what I'm going to do too. I'm going to let's. Hang on, Add really some. quick. I want to finish my thought. And oh, if yeah. you have it on, if you have it on GPU simulation, and you hit play, and you're like, it takes a minute, to, like a second to start up, or a couple seconds. It's because it's transferring all the geometry data over onto the GPU, and then the GPU can run the simulation. But but it has to take that minute, or not minute, hopefully, but a couple seconds to transfer that data over. So that's but the GPU is faster at doing the calculations up to a certain point uh, of, of of scale. So the GPU might take a little longer to start, but it's way faster to sim usually. And but that's where the CPU starts instantly, but it's slower to sim because it takes longer to make those calculations. But it's already got that data in place, so it can start simming immediately. So there you go. Sorry, I just want to finish that. No problem. Uh, that's, Jace, that's Jason Murphy idea. wants you to instead of having a sphere bursting up through the floor, make it be a cocaine bear bursting through the floor to disrupt your Nazi trust circle. Ugh. But we definitely don't have time. We're six minutes past. <laughs> I added a quick keyframe to the uh, to the lighting, which I which I think actually does give it. Oh a nice, yeah, that, uh, that really helps sell it. That's so good. There we go. Okay, so what I need to do is um, put put that uh, attractor force way up. Okay, or, so or, or I, way I, I I looks like I didn't like that's where I crashed it. So let's add another force of attraction. Great, great movie. I'm going to put it low to the ground like this. And on this, we're going to go to... Um, actually, let me see. Can I tell this to ignore... Uh, to use Collider, exclude... No. Uh, where do I set... Oh, on the bullet tag on forces, I can say to exclude this yes. attractor on the floorboards. Because I like what right. the floorboards are doing already. Yes. So I'm saying exclude... The attractors, but then on the uh, and then on the attractor itself, let's set this to a way negative value. Let's try. Does holding shift make it go faster, or is that just an After Effects? And I, and I still do it. Holy shift. Holy Holding. shift. I thought you said this holy shift make it go faster. This holy shift. Uh, okay. Add a zero. Sure. Factor of ten. Oh, I <laughs> did the decimal. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this is at now. Yes! Oh, he went out the window! <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Oh my okay, gosh. You, need to put, you, you just need to put an invisible cylinder in there or something, just real, real quick, or put a collider body on the oh, building I there was somehow. The building. Okay, wait. Oh, uh, simulation tag, collider. Two minutes and eight. We were, two, we're two hours, eight minutes in. Although oh, we did man, start okay. late. We did pretty we good. We started late. The, yeah, we the did, we did, we did. yeah, we did. So, count with, let's add. 
uh, let's add some more to the floor. Look at that. Immediately, just like, and. <laughs> okay, you, you need to you need yeah, to animate over. the attractor. You need to animate that attractor to be off, and then to be on for a six split second, and then off again. Okay, let's set the floor back to where it was because that messed it up for a second. Okay, attractor uh, strength keyframe put it, that. Put it, put it at zero. Slide yeah. that to here yeah. or so, yeah. and then add. Whoops. Row, and we'll keep it at zero until the blast happens. And then put it at Here zero, and then turn it down to zero a few frames after that, too. Oh, yeah. So it's not still pushing yeah, down exactly. at the wall. Clever. We're nice. not getting a, a classic uh, funfair Gravitron effect. Okay. I'm going to also, just because I want them all to, to hit the wall, I'm going to uh, rotate my object. Where's the axis for it? Way down here. Come up higher. I want to be able to play with this. No. Hold L. Hold L. Yeah, you don't have to... T t L temporarily toggles that on and off. That's delightful. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit like that. And let's play. We've got it. Save it. Save, save, it. save, save, save. incremental. Incrementally save it. Floor 3. And... Oh, not space parts. F8. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is so good. This is amazing. I love this. Okay, the attractor. Uh, we're just going to make this force just be a little bit higher. Let's add a one in front of it, so about twice as high. All right. And boom. <laughs> that would test too much force. Well, it's amazing. It blew out the walls. That was a little bit too much force. Let's go to uh, where's the uh? Wait, did they hit the walls before? Yes. They did. Okay, so the collider. Yeah, so, what, so what's and, happening is they're moving too fast. For the so from frame here to frame here, like from from one frame to one frame, they're going from here to way over here. So they pass through the collider before it has time to calculate wait, the collider. Collider tag disappeared. I probably deleted it. Not oh. what I was doing. Well, that might be why I did it then. Boom. There we go. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that collider is a little head. sticky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn off the friction on the collider. Turn up the bounce a little bit. There's stick, which is really fun. But oh, that's great for I, like I, rolling something down and picking up spaghetti, like spaghetti and meatballs. I do thank you all for sticking sticking with us for this. Uh... Okay, that I'm going to say is a reasonable approximation of this. If I had a Z depth pass on this and mm -hmm. a quick render of this, I could I could make a a thing. Except for that dude's hat. That dude's hat next time on VFX. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I gotta delay that. And then I'm getting pushed back by a little bit. Anyway, I'm just spinning my wheels now. You guys are all wonderful and gals. Thank you so much for tuning in to VFX Look and at Chill. Them blow up. That's we have so much fun here just doing doing this. I had no idea that I would get to blow up a bunch of Nazis today. And uh It's you know, important to always always rag yeah. on Nazis. Uh, do me a quick favor, guys, and just uh, vamp for just a little bit longer for me, if you would. Oh, excellent. I'm... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, now I'm excited about what you might have going on. Oh, no. That's delightful. I... Nothing All right. too great. Oh, oh, oh. oh we, there's something we do need to talk about. Forgot to mention this. On Wednesday uh, of next week, obviously next week, not this week, the, this, very, this very upcoming Wednesday, we have uh, the last three emotions of the year, which starts off with news and announcements. And... Uh, there are going to be some new things potentially being announced. Um, so, Red Gianty folks and oh, hey. some other other folks might want to tune in for some other from some, some tool updates that may be coming out as well. Just trying to give them a little bit more of an organic uh, distribution here. Oh, I got you. Did you? What did you? What, then, uh, what, wait, I just, what, what, uh, I just what messed with the offset variation and the offset uh, angle. I got you. And then you could actually, actually, I, all I, all I need to do is cycle through the offset seed and see in a billion different birds. Um, so we'll try this. And what's really fun is when cloners, like if you're cloning something along a spline and you put the speed on it, and it's, they just start scooching along. People are like, "Wow, you animated so well!" I did it's one button, no keyframes. It's great. Let's see what if I, if I turn up the. Make them even wilder on the soft body dynamics. Let's see. Make it bendier. 
Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is very Indiana Jones esque. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, I think that's the thing is like Spielberg does exceptionally when he gets to mix a bit of horror into as a genre into yes. whatever he's doing, whether it's a, a Jaws or an Indiana Jones or. Uh, what are the other movies he's made? He's made he's made movies. Jurassic oh, yeah, you're, you're right because I would I wouldn't consider Indiana Jones horror, but there are some fairly no. oh, yeah. horrific. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, like it's it's horror elements. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. But set in, a, I think there's someone who who was describing this. This isn't my original thought, but uh, that Jurassic Park is like a horror movie, but disguised as a family adventure film. But it gets very scary and gritty at points, and like one by one, like people go off, and like it's it has a lot of that. That's it's, it's got all it's, the horror tropes. Yeah, it's a it's a real good movie, is what it is. Any movie that's like not one specific thing is uh, is my jam, and all of well, our jams. So, yes, yeah, you're right. So some of my favorite movies aren't one specific thing, like Hot Fuzz. It's a comedy. It's an action movie. Yeah, any Edgar Wright movie, Baby Driver yeah. is is so many genres that all work together as one. Guys, it's two fourteen. We should probably go. Oh, yeah, probably we should. should. But you know what? It has been wonderful hanging out with all of you. Yeah, we have two more shows in December, and we're going to do some exciting, wild things that we have definitely already planned out ahead of time, as you can tell from... Uh... <laughs> that fedora is a gift to my life. I'm going to have a lot of fun with so this. That fedora works so well. That's fantastic. I'm going to have quite a lot of fun with You need this Shia LaBeouf saying, you're a teacher? Part-time. <laughs> <laughs> Part-time. Blah. Oh, hey, look, super comp. Oh, the very much super so good. comp. Let's see what that's super comp. I, I, that's I without. Your, that's your, with. your outro flow. There you go. All right. That's uh, that's it. Guys, thank you. Well, my outro flow, I got no flow for no outro, except <laughs> I will say I love you guys, and we'll, we'll see you next week. Yeah, we're here next see week. See you next week. You're here next week. We'll cool. see you next week. Bye.